All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, today we have a very important topic. Please invite your friends. Before we start, if you don't mind, for those who did not download the video, it's called The Most Dangerous Animals According to Islam. Please download it. Uh, the Muslims, they launch a big, big attack in this video and they flag it to YouTube. But thanks God, YouTube agree with us that this video have nothing wrong with it and we have it back. So, uh, download it because I'm not going to keep it in my page. Uh, anything will make Islam look stupid. Islam fight it for sure. And actually, all my videos make Islam stupid. And stupidity is our problem. You see, if we go right now and we type the word Islam in YouTube, what do you see? I mean, 90% of the videos is false statements about Islam. What Islam really about women, says about women, you know? TED program, very famous program, 1.6 million, and they brought a Muslim woman to speak about how amazing Islam, how Islam respect the women, when the fact Islam do not even consider the human, the, the women as a human. So if you want to learn uh, about Islam, you find a lot of liars, and sadly, not only Muslims, even those who they are ignorant. I don't want to say, I don't want to call them liars, but they are lying, yes. Uh, you know, they speak based on ignorance. Like somebody will say to you, I mean, even those who they are against Islam, they say to you as an example that the Arab are from Ishmael. I don't know where they get this from. But this is something we hear in every church. Copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste, ignorant. So the problem is that ignorance is not only exists between Muslims, it exists between us. Somebody, he claimed to be a priest, yet he give you garbage. And, you know, nobody asked him, where do you get this from? They say to you, there is a prophecy in the Bible about it. That's, that's false. The prophecy is about Ishmael. Nowhere it says that Ishmael is going to be, he is going to be the father of the Arab. Secondly, one of the ignorant things we see always, Arab is not even an ethnic group. They are not a nation. Arab is a word coming from the word desert. Whoever live in the desert, they call him Arab. This is why if you go, even if you go to Qatar, then you move to Emirat, then you move to Saudi Arabia, you will see they don't, they don't look the same. Look at someone from Yemen and someone from Eritrea and someone from Bahrain, and someone from Qatar, and someone from Saudi Arabia, they don't look the same. People of Qatar, they look the same as Pakistan. And that's a very easy to understand because they are very close to Pakistan. They look exactly Pakistani. Their hair, their eyes, their skin, you know, they look exactly like people from Pakistan, or let's say India. So, Arab are not an ethnic group. And you know, as you know, all of you supposedly, I'm an Arab. But if we go and I walk in the street, I don't find people look the same. Look, have you ever heard of a, of a Japanese who look uh, white and the other one who look Asian? It's impossible, right? Japanese is Japanese. So if you go in the Middle East and you walk between the Arab, you will see a guy, he have a darker skin, a guy, he ha is a, have a white skin, a guy, he have a blonde uh, hair, a guy, he have a blue eyes, a guy, he have a green eyes, a guy he have a brown a guy he have a, a dark so what is the arab there who is the arab exactly so if you want to learn about islam don't learn something stupid and if a priest he says to you that the arab or the or muhammad or the or even they say to you islam you know not only they go to arab they say islam is uh, is from ishmael this is stupid First of all, the Arab, even those who call them Arab today, they are a small, tiny in number. Because there is many countries now, they are joining under Arab, but they are not Arab. As an example, today, what is the name of Egypt? Jumhuriyatu Masr al Arabiya, the Republic of Masr, the Arab, or the Arab Republic of Masr. Masr, and, and, and this is the name of, uh, of Egypt in Arabic. But what is Arab about Masr? Nothing. This is an African country. What about Morocco? What about Tunisia? What about, you know, those are not Arab and they are African and they are Amazigh, most of them. 
and and barbar so even those who we can call them Arab is those who live in the desert and they are little tiny nations if we can call them a nation like Saudi Arabia population is very small take the immigrant take take the, the the foreign worker who live there you will find that Saudi Arabia is nothing Emirat is not even in the size of a town compared to USA or any country the same as Qatar same as Bahrain those are the Arab the rest are not Arab what Arab Iraq is the land of the Babylon Syria is a, a Syrian Aramaic and they are even the Iraqi are Aramaic too so where is the Arab who are they, the Arab they, there is nothing is called Arab it's a it's a big fat lie and there is nothing is called Arabic Arabic is not even a language by itself Arabic is a mix and collection of languages now today as long as we are talking about the most important facts about Islam you might hear from a Christian ministers and here we, we want to be fair I mean stupidity can come from all direction Christians who they are Catholic or Protestant or Orthodox who claim to be ministers or priests are the last one to teach you about Islam I'm sure many of you have heard a Protestant priest or a Catholic priest or even an Orthodox priest saying to you that uh, Muslims are Abrahamic, which is a big fat lie. Or they say to you from Ishmael, as we said, which is a big fat lie. Or they say to you, we worship the same God, which is a big fat lie. So when you go to a church, try to examine your minister, see how much idiot he is or how much knowledgeable, because there's it cannot be both. You know, either you are an idiot of the village or you are knowledgeable because a person who spent his life supposed to studying to be a priest and then he do not know where is the Arab coming from and he do not know if Muslims worshiping the same God as we do and he do not know that they are Abrahamic or not then he is an idiot correct so don't take your knowledge from idiots and it doesn't doesn't matter if they are wearing a uniform of a priest or a minister like a, a James White he says to you and he is a Protestant supposedly he said that uh, whoever says Islam is you know like somebody asked him uh, do do the Muslim worship the moon God he says who how that can be this is impossible why because the Quran says don't worship the moon I mean how stupid that answer is if the Quran says don't worship the moon, that means don't worship the moon God. What the moon God have to do with the moon? Worshipping the moon God is not worshipping the moon. We have to understand what is the moon God. If we go in the Quran, the Quran proved that Islam worship the moon God. If the Quran says don't worship the moon, don't worship the sun, does not change anything that Allah is nothing but the moon God. Why? Here we go. <clears throat> if we go in the Quran, we will find this. Verses the Quran mentioned a three female deity, and I challenge anyone from those who say that Allah is not the moon God, not the moon, He is not the moon, He is the moon God, is not the moon God. What is the story about Allah and Al Uzza? It's very simple. The moon god have sex with the sun god and they have a daughters. The moon god is the male, the, the sun god is the female. They had sex and they have three daughters. As simple as that. So if Allah is not the moon god, where are the three daughters is coming from? The story. Are you guys getting the point? Let us say that those who say to us that the Allah, like, like James White, uh, Allah is not the moon god. This is wrong. Okay, we will let it go. Okay, so what about the Arab believe those who worship Allah before Muhammad? Long before Muhammad. They are the one who built the Kaaba long before Muhammad exists. 
why in the world they believe in the story that the moon god did marry the sun god and they have daughters Allah al -Uzza, and those are the daughters of Allah <laughs> you know what I mean I mean stupidity is amazing sometimes it's just in the front of us In chapter 16, verse number 57, it says the following. Let me get you the verse. I mean, how clear we can make it more than this. And sometimes, you know, if, uh, like you, you feel like you wanna, you wanna, you wanna pull your hair up. Like you know, I cannot take it no more with the stupidity and the madness and the garbage which they try to feed to our children and our our families. Uh, you, you go to the church supposedly. Uh, uh, you think that you are going to listen to somebody he have a knowledge, but you go there, you see nothing but a donkey who is wearing a uniform, claiming to be a priest, taking the stage. To teach you false information in order to deceive you because this is all help the devil to convince you that Muhammad is Abrahamic and as long as he's Abrahamic so what the problem and they assign to Allah you see the translation here look at this good donkey always when he see the word Allah he translate the word Allah as God that's false Allah is a name not a word mean God Garbage in, garbage out. Where is the other donkey translation? They assign daughters for Allah. Okay, who is the one who assigned daughters for Allah? The Arab. So what Muhammad he came with is simple. He adopted the same God, the moon God. But because he is under the influence, he's trying to make the Christians, the Jews, and the Sabian believe in him. So he have to merge religion together. So now we take Allah, the God of the Arab, and we take that he should not be a God who have daughters. And we like he let us say he did adjustment, but Allah Himself as a person is the Moon God. Are we following people? I mean, how clear we can make it more than this? Why they even assign that Allah have a daughter? You, you tell me. Why the Arab they assign that Allah have a daughter? Where are the ideas coming from? You can go and search right now. You will find that the moon God Mary from the sun God and they have daughters. As simple as that. Allah and Uzza and Manat. But sometimes, because we are lazy and we like to copy, I mean, we, we, we trust somebody to be, have a, to be a person with knowledge. And whatever this person, because he have a uniform, he call himself a priest or bishop, you know. And that's it, because he's a priest, he knows. Who says they knows? Many of them, they are doing a business. It's a good business. Wherever you go, people respect you. Wherever you go, you are welcome. They are they they eat big meal in the funeral. They eat a big meal in the wedding. They you know they are in the front of every place. I mean everybody respect them, but you know this is not what the Christian our church father is about. The apostle of Jesus they used to serve. They used to be humiliated. People don't really like welcome them. People throw rocks at them, and still they do their job. Those people are most of them. They are fake. They are liars. The second you ask them a question which is serious, then right away you you know you discover that they are liars, hypocrites. They give you speeches about Jesus. They give you this is why Jesus said, Not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of my father. So, my friend.
don't make them fool you and it doesn't matter who is the one is talking he is a Christian minister or an Islamic minister if we can call him minister we call him in Arabic Sheikh the one who don't say the truth he is a liar Call the liar by his name. He is a Christian. He is a Jew. He is a Hindu. He is a Muslim. It doesn't matter The liar is a liar and the Bible says who is the father of all lies? You know the answer, right? It is the devil which means you can be a Christian by name But in fact you are serving the devil you can be a Jew by name But in fact you are serving the devil you can be whatever you can be you know, whatever a name you give for you as a as a as a coat to wear to to cover yourself, it's the same person. It's the devil. He he have many uniforms. He come to the Muslims as a Muslim. He come to the Christian as a Christian. He come to the Hindu as a Hindu. He come he come to you in the way you like. What do you like? He is very flexible. And even Muhammad himself. <coughs> He believe or he believed that the daughters of Allah are real. If you remember, the Muslim they report to us that the Prophet of Allah. He sent. He sent who? He sent Khalid ibn Walid to kill a woman who supposedly she is the daughter of Allah. And even the Muslims they claim that he killed her for real. They killed her for real. I would try to find. Uh, I would try to find the story in English for you. Uh, let us see if we can find it in English. Let us give it a try. Will be good if we can find it in English, but mostly no, but we will see. Yeah, I don't think we will find it in English, but in Arabic it's very easy to find it. If somebody knows the story, where uh, uh, Muhammad he sent actually I'm surprised we cannot find it here I mean if we should find it no um, and actually al Uzza is a black woman too here we go I mean again you know remember that uh, always Muhammad he make whoever supposedly is evil for him he color him by black so he sent he sent Khalid bin Walid to kill the daughter of Allah, which is Al Uzza, and she was a huge black woman, and he killed her supposedly. Uh, let me show you some reference. If somebody can find the story in English, let me know, please. We can post it in the link so people they can read. This is the book of Sharh Sahih Muslim, which means the interpretation of Sahih Muslim. Uh, and this is the page 103 volume or chapter 22 we are showing the reference as you see here okay in the bottom and the and the down in the link and then it says that muhammad he sent khad bin walid in a mission and what is the mission he sent him to a wadi, it's called the wadi of palm tree. And this valley, it was in the left side. So Khalid Walid, he came 
and he found like a through three small trees or a small big tree like you know it depends in the in the uh, in the understanding and then he cut the trees and there was a house on the trees he destroyed it too and then he came to the prophet and he told him that he cut the trees Muhammad said to him go back you did not catch anything which mean ie you did not kill al uzza so Muhammad he believed that al uzza is a true person you know what i mean how you know how how like how muslims can explain to me such a thing why muhammad is sending one of his uh, warrior to kill something is not exist unless it exists you know what i mean as long muhammad he insists that you should go back and you should kill al uzza then the uzza must be true person so how in the world muslim they say to us that this is a fiction belief al uzza is not exist And then here continue the story says after he told him that I cut the trees Muhammad he said to him you did not do anything yet you did not cut it yet which mean ie you did not cut a kill al uzza who is the one is talking here is Muhammad then he sent back Khalid to finish the mission so he went and he left like he he looked at the at the at the, at the side of of the location where uh, where supposedly al uzza live and they look at the mountain which means they enter the mountains and they found uh that in this mountain the news of the sky come to it The one who brings this the news from the sky, he is supposed to Jibreel. He is the one who informed the Prophet Muhammad that they did not kill Al-Uzza. Al-Uzza is still alive. So they went to the mountain and they were screaming, Oh Uzza, uh, oh, why you are hiding? Oh Uzza, uh, uh, like come out or or die. You know, you are like you, you, uh, 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 you like it or not, we will kill you. Which mean, if you have a God, if you have a God, well, let him uh, make, make him crazy. I don't know how stupid that statement is. I mean, if you have a God, make him crazy. Which mean, I think he's he mean, they meaning that okay, let your God come and be crazy on us, like he punish us, do something, or at least. By the way, here this is interpretation. This is not the story. The story doesn't say that. The story they said that is when they arrived to the mountain, they said to the to the Uzza, "Hey Uzza, let your God come out, you know, etc." Blah 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 blah. And then, uh, and then Khalid he arrived to the women, and she was totally naked, and she was black. And her hair was wide spread, and her boobs are on her her shoulders. Have you ever heard of a woman she have a boobs in her shoulders? I mean, what is that? So obviously they are claiming that she is not a human; she is different. She have some features as a human, but in fact she is not a human. The point that she have her breast in her shoulder, and for sure that cannot be a description for a human being, right? Now the ones who keep typing for me and texting me, I don't know what's wrong with people. Uh, All right, guys, you know, just watch my videos.
and don't tell me to destroy this guy and that guy all of them they are idiot if you have somebody to debate me bring him here what I can do I mean I can chase people one by one if you have somebody he want to debate me you tell him okay Christian princess here here we go we are live I mean what I can do more can a Muslim even have the courage to have his Skype open for any call they cannot because they have no knowledge and they have a stupid religion and their God is not helping them three in one stupidity ignorance and false religion so don't tell me can you silence this guy we are silence them so what we are doing here if this is not silencing so what is silencing And then people they send me a link okay this is away from the topic can you like i mean come on guys so focus with don't send me don't send me any link for anyone please i am here to do what i need to do if you have somebody to debate me let him come don't tell me this guy he said that guy he said let them say whatever they want if they are brave enough here we go we are here Like a Muslim now, he sent me uh, a link uh, for Zach and Naik saying the proof of a prophethood. I wish I can play the video so we can die laughing. Muhammad, he have a proof of a prophethood. Here we go, it's in the front of us. Muhammad, he claimed that Al-Uzza is a real daughter of Allah. And she is a real person. Which means that this woman, she was alive for centuries and thousands of years. Because Al-Uzza is exist before Muhammad. Al-Uzza is exist all the hundreds and thousands of years before Muhammad so now we are saying by Muhammad saying that he sent uh, Khalid and he killed the women her name is al Uzza he just admitted that al Uzza is a real person what a prophethood Muhammad he have a proof of a prophethood call me and show me the prophethood proof Yes, Abdul. Hello. Yeah, you hear me? Hello. Yes, Abdul, do you hear me? Let me call him back. <coughs> yes, buddy. Okay, you call me back when you're ready. Muslims, they can serve their own propaganda. I don't blame them if they try to defend their religion. At the end of the day, they are Muslims and they believe that Muhammad is an amazing person. That's what they've been taught. This is what they learned. But we cannot say, okay, answer this guy because simply I am here answering all guys. If everybody do fart, you sent me, you sent him to me saying, uh, answer him. You know, if you, if you want to do something good, send me the guy who fart the fart. Let him come here with his smell. And you will see how we will make him ashamed of what he said. But we cannot chase people, say, is this guy he said and this guy he said. You know, I mean, uh, sometimes I have to do it because a Christian don't do a good job in a, in a, in a, in a debate or something like that. Yes, I'm good. Yes, how you doing, man? I'm fine. Yes, how about you? Uh, my sheikh, he, he wants to, he had one question from you. He said that, uh, that, are you willing to know the truth or are you just trying to make fun of Quran and Hadith? My friend, your sheikh, he called me and you are a witness. He could not answer one question of my questions. I'm not making fun. Your sheikh, he know nothing and you know it. And now, if your sheikh is there, let him talk to me. No, I'm just saying, my sheikh said that, are you trying to know the truth? Or my, you friend, just my friend, my friend, my yeah. friend, this, this is a very silly question, because with my respect to your sheikh, I am a man, I'm not a kid. So, and where he was when I asked him the questions, and why he did not tell me the truth. 
I mean, is it is it is it really uh, amazing that you are now going to give me a speech saying that your sheikh said to, to me to you, do you want to make fun or you want to know the truth? I asked him a question, he could not answer, he did not give me the truth. So what was preventing him for an hour and a half debating me from giving me the truth? Why he was saying to me, oh, you have it. You have many questions. You have many questions. Oh, you have many questions. I will call you back. We will be back to you. He did not give me any answer. So now you are giving me a speech about my shake. You, you, your shake is, you know, and you said you are, you, he have many. And he told me he will send many students of his student to, to listen to me, right? Okay. Well, if he himself, he cannot teach you about how to answer a Christian prince. Shouldn't he answer a Christian prince? What happened to your shake? What happened to him? Why he not calling me? He's gonna call you back, but the only thing, the only question that he has from you that are you willing to know the truth or are you just trying to make my friend of my friend we are the follower of Jesus and Jesus says I am the truth and the truth will set you free. We are not playing games but here. You're, so you but you're but my, your Christianity is the Christianity of Saint Paul. You can you know say that, whatever you want. This is this is based Jesus. this is based on your ignorance, not based in fact. Based on your ignorance, and let let your sheikh says that to me, and you will see what will happen to him. Let him mention, the, let him dare to mention the name Paul to me. No, no, your your Christianity is Christianity of Saint Paul. If my friend, really my friend, it. I don't like stupid talk. Not, not my friend, okay, okay. Why your sheikh don't call me right now and let us talk about Paul, and you will see that your 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 sheikh will be ashamed for mentioning the name Paul forever. Same, you're the follower of Saint, you're the Christianity follower. Okay, you see, you are repeating the same thing. You see, first of all, you admitted that your sheikh could not answer me. You admitted that your Muslims have he, no answer, and yet you are talking about you. about Paul. What do you know about Paul? Right? You know nothing about. Okay, what if I show you? What if I show you Paul? What if I show you? Hold on. What if I show you Paul in Islamic books? What you will do? That Paul is a messenger of Allah according to Islam. What do you would do? Are you going to open the camera and do the monkey dance for us? Saint Paul, Saint Paul. Yes, Saint, Saint Paul. Paul. If I show you that according to the Muslims, that he is a messenger of Allah and he is a messenger of Jesus, what you will do? Are you willing to open the camera and do the monkey dance for us? And this is all from Islamic books, zero Christian books. No, you gotta do your homework. Bro. No, you are yeah. the one who have no homework, and you are the one who is a kid who do not know what he's talking about. The, the same as your sheikh. Your sheikh is not a sheikh. Your sheikh is just going a, doing a job, collecting money, have a salary. Yet when we ask him a question, he have no idea what we are talking about. Bingo. And what he say to me? Oh, you have many questions. Are you okay, brother? You have many questions. We will answer you later. Do you, okay, you have many questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a good question. But he could answer any, any question. No. And you, you are doing the same now. So you send me a link of Zaka Naik for video. It says the proof of the prophethood of Muhammad. Can you tell me about this link, please? <laughs> You didn't, you didn't watch it? No, I will not watch because we can't play it. They will, they will they will claim copyright over it. Tell me what it says. You should have you should have watched it. You My know, friend, you tell me, tell this. me, did you, you watch should, it? You did, you, did, you, did you did you did you watch did you watch it yourself? Right did you watch it yourself? Did you watch it yourself? Tell me what Zakir Naik he said. What is the prophethood the proof of Muhammad? Is that because he have a penis have the power of forty men? What is the proof of prophethood of Muhammad? Is that because he said the moon is split and the moon never split? Is no, that because that is that is that because he have sex with a six years old girl? He said the Christians are the follower of Saint Paul, not not of Jesus. Uh, 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 Muhammad, he said that. Muhammad, he said that. This is this is that, this uh, is additional sign of the stupidity of Islam because you're a prophet never mentioned Paul. Hold on, why you're a prophet never mentioned Paul, but you Muslims keep throwing rocks at Paul? Are you saying to me that your prophet you do not know? Sorry, I didn't hear you. What, what did you say? Why you're a prophet never mentioned the name of Paul in a bad language? Why he did not say Paul is the problem? But why Muhammad never say something wrong about him? But you Muslims, you keep talking attacking Paul. No, you didn't do your homework, bro. You gotta go back and. Uh, okay, tell Abdul, all the Abdul, let your let let your sheikh call me. Let your sheikh call me. I have no time for kids. Take care. Homework. Go to the home of Allah, which is a Kaaba, have a black stone and kiss it. Homework. If you know what homework mean, you should not should not pray in the direction of a rock. Homework. Have you ever heard of a God? He have a house and this house have a holy stones and those stones they have eyes and ears and they have mouth and they are going to talk 
and they used to be white and they turned black because of sin and then with a prophet he kissed the stone so we kiss it there's a website it's called convert to Islam I chatted with them I said I have a question please why the pro uh, uh, about the black stone uh, why the prophet uh, kiss a black stone they said because it's holy I ask again and why it's holy the guy in the other side said because the prophet kiss it I mean have you ever heard of something stupid more than this I just said to you why the prophet kiss the black stone you said to me because it's holy and I said to you, why it's holy? You said to me, because the prophet kiss it. And you are telling me, do your homework. And you know, just because you mentioned, you mentioned this guy, your sheikh. Let everybody laugh. Guys, do you want to laugh about the sheikh? Shall we play some of the sheikh debate with me? And you will see how shaky he was. What sheikh? I never debated a sheikh, he can ever answer me anything. Never. Never before, never in the future. And actually debating sheikhs is a lot easier than debating someone like this kid. Because kids, they can say whatever they want. They can, you know, it's like, it's hard to debate them because they are kids. It's like debating in ignorance is a mission impossible. Let us see what happened in this debate. You have a shake, and your shake will call me. You're right. I don't think he will ever do it. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Even salamu alaikum is a theft, it's not Islamic. This is something Muhammad he stole from the Jews. This is your shake, my friend. He was very shaky. Do we have any Abdul? The one who called himself awesome dude, are you a Muslim? I want only Muslims to call me. This is from the start when the shaky called us. Listen and love. Do we have any Muslim? I did not say that. Okay, hold on. We want to we call Abbas, give him a chance to explain what he said. Maybe we got him wrong. Abbas is angry now. Don't say that to Abbas. If Abbas get angry, let's see where you, know, you didn't know what started. It is a must to ask them for intercession, and he bowed down to them. What do you say about that? He never bowed down to them. What he did was mm -hmm. that uh, at the time of uh, oh, this is the sheikh. He called me here to see. It is a must to ask them to for hold on. You did not say that. Call me Abbas, call me. Let us see what you say. But this is not Abbas now. The one we'll call is the Sheikh. Hello? Hello? Yes. This is the Sheikh. Yes. How do I do? I do, man. I'm fine. Is that Sheikh? Uh... Sheikh, Sheikh Abdul Wadud. Welcome, Sheikh Abdul Wadud. How are you doing, my friend? I'm good. How are you, man? I'm all right. Are you good? I'm very good. So I've been told by uh, one of your students you want to call me and explain to me something about the Quran, if you don't mind. Yeah, yeah, you want to explain it. All right, that's wonderful. So uh, what about the Prophet Muhammad? He uh, recited that the three daughters of Allah, it is a must to ask them to, for intercession, and he bowed down to them. What do you say about that? He never bowed down to them. What he did was mm -hmm. that uh, at the time of, uh, you know, before the Prophet of uh, Muhammad, is the opponent. Hmm. The people, what they are doing, they are worshiping Latin also. Hmm. 
So, Messenger Mohammed, mm. is the Tani, was sent to tell them to not worship not an Allah. Okay. And to worship only one Allah. Mm. But this is not what Islamic source says, my friend. The Quran says in chapter 22, verse number 52, that shaitan he threw in the mouth of Muhammad, satanic verses. And then uh, all the reference says that Muhammad, the prophet of Islam, when he was reciting the chapter of an najm he said that those are Manat and Allah, al Uzza, the three daughters of Allah, their intercession is a must. And he bowed down, and all the pagan bowed down behind him. And even the pagan, they said, we never saw a prophet uh, uh, like uh, uh, praising our gods as this before. So your prophet, he bowed down, and the pagan, they bowed down to the three daughters of Allah, and your prophet, he mentioned their names. Do you hear me shake? As I, as I told you, that at that time, if you know the history of Arab, Mm. Those people they were worshiping not in Uzza at that mm. time. Mm. So Allah was telling them to not worship. Mm. Yeah, I know that. But why? Why Muhammad he bowed down with them? You see, I have a story written by you Muslims, not by me. You see. Okay, bring the bring the history in front of me so I can see it. Okay, do you see the screen? Do you see my screen? Just wait a minute. My student is working on it. Okay. Okay, this is Asabi Nuzul Do you speak Arabic, Sheikh? Yeah, I do. Yeah, let's see what. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Let me highlight for you so you can see. It says okay. here, you know. Uh, so when the messenger he was reciting, he revealed to Muhammad. Uh, to him, Surah An Najm by the star when it's Seth, Surah uh, chapter 53. The Messenger of Allah bless him and give him peace. Recited, recited it. But when he reached, uh, uh, have ye uh, thought upon the Allah and Al Uzza and Manat, the third, the other, uh, chapter 53, verse number 19 to 20, the devil put in his tongue that he had secretly wished and hoped for and said these are the mighty grands the garanik and their intercession is to be hoped and then when Quraysh heard him saying that when Quraysh they heard this they they were very pleased and the messenger of Allah bless him and give him peace uh, uh, carried on reciting until the end of the surah and then he prostrated, and the Muslims followed, uh, and they prostrate, and all the idolaters they prostrated uh, there too, and those all they were present, whether they are uh, believers or disbelievers, all of them they bow down together, except the man his name is Awalid, because he was an old man. So your source, my friend, saying clearly that your prophet he worshipped the three daughters of Allah, he grant them prayer. And he was teaching, claiming that Allah taught him to say that the three daughters of Allah, they are to worship and ask for intercession. What do you say? If you look at the, uh, the translation, right? The translation is telling you, hmm. the messenger of Allah, Allah bless him, hmm. gave peace and care on reciting the end of the surah. So that means that he was reciting Quran, and he went to sajda to Allah. He didn't do sajda to the Latin Uzzah. Yeah, but he mentioned already, already, he mentioned that Allah and al Uzza, three he acknowledged them as their intercession is a must, and then he bowed down after, at the end, no problem. That, the, that yes. was the problem. No, that was the problem at that time that the Mushrikin in Makkah, mm. they were worshipping, they were worshipping Allah and Uzza. Mm. And your prophet, he worshipped them, as you see, he so mentioned he their name. He was, he was reciting the mm. verses of Quran. Okay, what he said, what he said, he said that the three daughters of Allah, their intercession is a must. Right? So, your so prophet... That was the must for the Mushrikin in Makkah. 
Yeah, but he is the one who said that. He is the one he who said. said that was the must for the mushrikeen in Makkah. No, 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 he did not. No, 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 he did not say it's a must for the mushrikeen. He was reciting chapter of the Quran. He was not reciting what 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 they believe. He was reciting Quran chapter of Najm. So he was mm -hmm. reciting in Najm, and he inserted he inserted in the Najm that the three daughters of Allah, their intercession is a must. He is not saying. Don't say that he was saying it's a it's a must for them. That is that is not true, my friend. That is not to fabricate. Don't fabricate things some your prophet did not say. It's not fabricated, brother. Okay. I think you have a lot of questions about Islam. Mm -hmm. I think you 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 are um, you are questioning Islam by so much that uh, you have read everything. Mm -hmm. Good, mm -hmm. that's uh, well done for you. Mm -hmm. You have read it, but you have not read it with a scholar of Islam. Mm -hmm. So you need to sit with a scholar and learn from them mm -hmm. to teach you the mm -hmm. Quran and, and Hadith in detail. Okay, so you can. The Quran and Hadith really is about. Hmm. So you're asking me now to go and uh, learn from the scholars. I thought you are a scholar. You are a sheikh. Yeah, that's what I'm okay. saying. Okay. So as long you are a sheikh, why you are changing what is written there? It says that the Prophet he said that the three daughters of Allah, the Garani, their intercession is a must. At the end, he bowed down, and all the pagan they want to bow down together. And not only that, the people of Quraysh they said. We never heard Muhammad creating our gods as much as good as today. So here we go. He greeted them. He said their intercession is a must. And he bowed down at the end, which means he bowed down for whatever he said. Whatever he said in that chapter, he bowed down and he started worshipping. He said that the three daughters are included in his prayer. He, he prayed. He's saying, reciting Quran. And then he says the three daughters of Allah, their intercession is a must. And then at the end, he bowed down. He bowed down for what? For every word he said before he bowed down. So, yes, he bowed down to the idols, the three daughters. And as you see, even the, the Quraysh, all, suddenly all of them together, they are worshipping the same God. And not only that, they said, Muhammad, he never mentioned our gods as good as today before. And this is why people, they thought that Muslims and, uh, and the Arab, they became united because now they are worshipping the same God. And it is Allah, and it is the daughter of Allah. So don't tell me go and ask the scholars. You can you claim to be a scholar, and this is a scholar. The one is talking here is a scholar, by the way. This is Asbab al Nuzul. This is not my book. No. Mm. So the thing is that you need to sit face to face with a scholar and have your question, you know, in front of him. Mm. You are saying in this ayat, in the Surah Najar, ayat number 19. <clears throat> Have you ever considered the idols of Latin Ulza? Mm. And then about the other, the third, and the Manat. Mm. Then is is it that you that he has male and female? He Allah has females, mm. and it's so it's totally unjust division. Mm. And after that, there is nothing but the names you and your forefather have invited. Allah has sent down no authority. Attached to them, they are the following nothing but conjunction and what their soul desire while guidance from their Lord, Lord, mm. surely reach them. Yeah, but the, but the question, my friend, the Quran is saying it's now it's that shaitan, yeah, but the shaitan, the Quran, the hadith says, the Quran says that shaitan he throw in the mouth of Muhammad satanic verses, correct. Shaitan was trying to do that, but no, Muhammad no, never listened. No, 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 not trying. No, no, my friend, let us be honest. The, 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 the statement in the front of you where it says he was trying, he wasn't trying, he was successful. As you see, it says here the devil he throw in his tongue, he throw already, and your prophet recited that. He did not try, it was successful. Your prophet he said that the, the three daughters of Allah, their intercession is to be hoped for. So he was not a trying, he did. The, when the messenger, read carefully with me, my friend, okay? Read carefully, please. When he arrived reciting Allah and Uzza and Manad, the third, he, the, the devil, let us read together, the devil put in on his tongue what he had secretly wished and hoped for, which means the devil he wished for. These are the mighty grants, the granite, and their intercession is to be helped for. So your prophet, he said, what the devil he put in his tongue said that and everybody heard him that the three daughters of Allah Allah and Manat and Uzza their intercession is a must and hoped for 
So your prophet recite, uh, recited satanic verses. And not only that, you will see in the same page, you will see that the angel later, Angel Jibreel, came to Muhammad and he said to him, those, message, those verses you recited before is not from Allah. Here we go. At the evening, read with me carefully. At the evening, Jibreel, peace be upon him, went to the messenger of Allah, uh, Allah bless him and give him peace and said, what have you done? You recited to people that which is did not bring from Allah. Glory is to he. And you said what he did not, what I did not say to you. So my friend, don't tell me that Satan was trying. Satan was able and he was successful. And even Jibreel, he came to Muhammad and he said to him, what you have done? Go ahead, my friend, answer. So it, 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 if you know that most of the past year of the Quran, hmm. that you know there is not most, sometimes they're not recommended by all the scholars. Uh -huh. you, you, get, you know about this. Right? What, is, what is the one you recommend for me, as long as this one is not recommended? Uh, I would, I would recommend a um, marvel Quran by my student. He started me to make it easy for which one? For which, the, one? which one? Which one? Which one? by Mufti Muhammad. Uh, this is a, this is a new. Are you Ahmadiyya or something? This is a new. Those are you scholars? Do, who are those scholars? Those are not scholars. I never heard of them. So you are saying to me, it's Imam like Al Wahidi, Al Tabari, Al Tabari, the real Imams are not considered by you, but a guy who was just born yesterday, he made a book, and this is the, the this is the one who will explain the Quran to us. Don't you think that this is a hypocrisy? It's not hypocrisy. So why, how you don't accept the original the scholars? How come now this, this guy, you are calling him Mufti? He learned his religion from who? From those scholars. So how now he can explain the Quran better than them? Better than them. Why? You, you, how, 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 so how, how, how he is what? He is so good. So now what we will do with this? Are you saying that this guy, he, what, what can you read for me what this guy, he said about this verse? Okay. You, Okay, go ahead. What your scholar he, he said? He's saying that we did not send any messenger unless says mm. you are not our prophet. He faced a situation that when he recited the revelation, the satanic cast doubts about what he recited. The satanic people or those people who are worshipping mm. Latin Oda. Okay? So Allah nullifies what the satan cast, then Allah makes his verses firm. Allah is unknowing and unwise. This is an interpretation now. He did not. This inter is he, did, he, did not he, did, he did not give interpretation. He's just quoting the verse again. I mean, this is funny. How this can be interpretation? He's just oh, this, this my friend. Okay, I, I, will, I will go. I will go with this funny interpretation because he did not give interpretation. He did not give interpretation. Secondly, you just admitted that shaitan he cast in the mouth of Muhammad, and Allah will delete it. What Allah deleted from mouth of Muhammad? What Allah deleted? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. This case, this case here is about Muhammad. My friend, no problem. No problem. Don't, don't, my, my friend, each time I talk to you, you start reading from zero. It looks like, you know, we have a machine talking to us. My friend, I'm asking you a friendly, please, a friendly. The, the verse saying, the verse saying, and you quote for me, and I heard you, that he said that Shaitan cast, cast, okay. Shaitan cast what exactly? Can you quote for us what he cast in the mouth of Muhammad? The Satan cast doubts about what he recited. What he recited? Can you tell me? This is not the question, my friend. This is not the question. You just said Shaitan he cast in the mouth of Muhammad. The question is, what he cast in the mouth of Muhammad? Can you tell me the words? About what he recited? Yes, about what he cast. What, what the Shaitan cast? Allah will take it off, correct? Okay, but what he cast? What the Shaitan said to Muhammad? As you said in Surah Al Najm, that Latin Uzza was the was the people of of Quraysh that are worshiping Latin Uzza at that time. This is not the question. So, this is not the question, my friend. I don't know what's wrong with Muslims. The second we ask them a question, they go in panic mood. I'm asking you, friendly. So fine, what what Muslim the Shaitan? What the Satan told Muhammad when he was speaking? What Satan made Muhammad? What he threw in his tongue? What is the sentence? Can you quote the, the sentence for us? So the Satan they put. Nothing in the mouth of Muhammad. They were they, in, the, in the mouth of Muhammad. They were trying to uh, put something of Latin. Uzzah. Where you are you getting this from? I mean, what what do you mean trying? The, the, it says there that he, the, even the Quran says, Shaitan cast. Allah will take it off. Not a trying. Who trying? It is Shaitan. He cast in the mouth of Muhammad. 
Muhammad is from the satanic people or he is a prophet. He is a prophet supposedly. So the, the Quran confirmed that Allah cast in his mouth while you are changing the words. I'm asking you, my friend. I'm asking you. I'm asking you. First of all, first of all, when you say to me, you, you hear me? You hear me? When you say to me that they are trying, you are you are corrupting the Quran. The Quran says it clearly that Allah will take what Shaitan cast in the Quran, not in the book of the pagan. The pagan is not, they are not following Allah anyway. They don't have a book. Come on. The verse says clearly, whatever shaitan he cast, Allah will take it off. Take it off from where? From the Quran, not from the book of the of the pagan. The book of the pagan. You don't have a book. Okay, so that the Quran, the Quran, okay, my friend, do you, do you have do you have first the concept of God? Can you explain the concept of God to us? The concept of God? Which one in, yeah. in Islam? No, no, the concept of God uh, of Christians. Why well, you want to change the topic? We'll go because the thing is, at first you don't know uh, what to follow and what not to follow. Really, and you are the one who knows what to follow, what not to follow. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> if you know how to follow and what to follow, why your prophet he kisses stone? For me, my God, he said, you asked me about the concept of God. It says, don't make images what is in heaven or in the sky, and not to worship anything except God. How Muhammad he kissed a black stone? Is that a concept of God to kiss a stone and to believe that it's a holy stone? Is that a prophet of God who says to him that I am going to protect you and you are masoom? And then we see that Muhammad receiving satanic verses. Is that the concept of God to say that God is one? And then you say Shahada, which is contained the name of Muhammad and the name of Allah. How that can be one, but yet two on the same line, associating the knowledge of God and the knowledge of Muhammad. You say Muslims, you say Allah and his prophet knows best. You associating the knowledge of God with the knowledge of a man. How you say that God is one, but knowledge of Muhammad is equal to Allah knowledge. How you say that God is one, but Allah, he wrote the name of Muhammad in his throne. How you say that the name of God and you say Allah is one God. But then you say to me that Allah, he says, if when I take a partner, I will take it from our kind. How Allah is going to take a partner from his kind. Can you answer me? Okay. Now the mic is mine, right? Go ahead. Okay. So at first you said the black stone. Hmm. The black stone, as if you know, that there was a fight at the time of Quraysh, mm -hmm. where Prophet, peace be upon him, he, he took, took all the leaders of the mm -hmm. Quraysh and took the stone towards the Kaaba mm -hmm. and placed it there. And people would go around the Kaaba, make the waf of the Kaaba and kiss it. Okay. Right? Okay. So your Prophet is so, following the pagan, you mean? He is just kissing it the same as the pagan before him? So as you, if you know that Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, he became prophet at the age of forty. Okay. He became he was a Nabi before from mm. his birth, but he became a Rasul at the time of age of forty. Mm. Okay. When he was go, when he would go around the Kaaba, he would cast the stone because the, this stone came straight from Jannah. Mm -hmm. As if you know that this stone was whiter, mm. whiter than the milk, and people because people kissing it, it became black. Mm. And because most of the Muslims nowadays they kiss it because they kiss it because of for the love of Rasulullah. Mm. Okay. Can I make a comment, please? Can I make a comment? Okay. Can I make a comment? Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. So you just said to me that you Muslims you kiss you kiss it because the Prophet kiss it. But why the Prophet kiss it? Okay. So our Prophet, peace be upon him, he kissed it because it was made by Allah in Jannah. Okay, but Even you just said to me, my friend, hold on. But you, but you just said to me, but you just said to me, we kiss it just because the prophet kissed it, which means you are saying we don't kiss it because Allah He made it, we kiss it just because the prophet kissed it. Everybody heard you, and that is a contradiction because if you are just kissing it because Muhammad kissed it, not because of anything you know, the else. Of the Quran, Ati wa Ati okay, no, it doesn't say actually Ati Allah wa Ati Rasul only, it says Ati Rasul wa Ati Allah. Which means obey Muhammad first, and then you obey Allah. Correct? Okay. So how? So if you know how, the, if you know the ayah, Yes. So how? So how you say? How you say so, Muhammad is a prophet when you when the Quran says you have to obey Muhammad first before you obey Allah? So that, that's that, that's the command of God. It's a command of God. Comes you have to how I know that this is the command, command of God. If God tells how, you to first follow Jesus and mm. then follow. God. My friend, you, how I know that this is God? the command of God and why God he says obey a man first and then obey me You didn't say obey me only because a man is a sinner and he can do bad stuff Is Muhammad God? He don't do any mistakes 
how you say to you how he say to you obey Muhammad and then obey Allah and why Muhammad first and then Allah second how Allah can became second before if, and, if, you, can, if you know that all the messengers of God they are all Muslim they don't have any sin they are, they that, are sinless that's not for, that's not true my friend isn't it the Quran says that Allah he forgave Muhammad for the past sin and the coming sin so are you saying to me Allah he did lie in the Quran Listen first, and um, you are listening to me, or you have keep on because you. I'm, listen, I'm listening, my friend, but you are making a contradiction. I have to make a point before you change your mind, because it says in chapter forty-eight, verse number two, may Allah forgive to you your sin in the past and your sin in the coming time. So how you say to me, Muhammad is masoom, but the Quran confirm that Muhammad Allah is, is a sinner. Allah is telling through the mouth of our prophet he's telling us that Allah will forgive the sins of those who accept Islam no past, that's not true not true not true my friend chapter 48 verse number two is speaking specifically about Muhammad so please if you are a sheikh you know I, ex I accept from you a decency and honesty not lies are you fabricating that the, the interpretation for the verse making it about the Muslims this is about Muhammad himself not about anyone else why you are my friend changing the mean i don't want to say the word liar I, I you know i promise myself to speak to your respect but this is absolutely false what you said to me this verse only about muhammad who are you talking about chapter 48 verse number two 48 verse number two okay hmm. chapter 48 verse number Take it easy, my friend. Drink some water, please. So if we, if we go back to the the history of this surah, this surah has been revealed when when Makkah was Fatah. When Muhammad he came back to Makkah and he, he forgave all the people of Makkah, all the people who did all the bad things to Muhammad, peace be upon him at that time. Yeah, but this is about your prophet. The Quran confirmed that he is a sinner. So don't tell me that this is about the believers, not about Muhammad. So now we correct the thing. Thank you very much. So the Quran confirmed that Allah is may forgive the sin of Muhammad and his in the in the in the past and the one to come. So how you say to me that the Prophet protected, but yet he is a sinner. And the same time, that would be a contradiction because how he said to us, obey Muhammad, he is a sinner, obey him. Obey him, whoever obey Muhammad, obey me. But now I have to obey a sinner. That will make me obeying God. But if you are a sinner, that means I have to obey any sin you do because you are a sinner, you are not perfect. Are you Muslims saying that Muhammad is a perfect God, but he's a man? We're not saying that he's a God. Okay. We're saying he's the prophet of Allah. Okay, but you are saying to me, but you are saying to me he's masoom. What masoom mean? Masoom does but not does not make does not make mistakes, correct? Yes. Okay, but how he, he don't make mistakes, but he do sin. Is sin is a big, big mistake. Sin is a big mistake, not a mistake. <coughs> as we know that prophets, mm. be upon them, as you know that in you know, the Quran used to come on them, the Wahi, mm. they used they, they 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 used to go into a state. Sometimes the Wahi will came come to them. Mm. Uh, in a at the time where, where when they will they will be on a horse, sometime in the journey, sometime. You know, and, and any time they could, they could come to them. 
from from Allah. So what? if there was a problem, mm. so if you really look into the Quran and you have so many questions, I know that you, you anytime if, if I speak and speak, you will keep on asking and asking and asking questions. And, you know, we are not asking so questions. We, we are in America in the, in the topic, my friend. To, we, me and you, mm. my friend, mm. we need to sit together. Mm. We need to sit together and. Inshallah, mm-hmm. we need to go together. Inshallah, mm-hmm. Allah will help you understand and mm-hmm. understand the wisdom of the Quran mm-hmm. and what what is the why why everything why why everything was revealed in this way and why how the ayahs of the Quran was revealed and how the Quran was compiled together. Mm-hmm. And inshallah, you will have a better understanding. So, you, so my friend, inshallah, you will not answer me. Inshallah, you have no answer. Inshallah, you are telling me I'm, I cannot answer you. Yeah, uh, then, then answer me, my friend. Then answer me. Why you are giving me this speech about Inshallah, Inshallah? I have a question for you, and you are trying to avoid it. Inshallah, you will not answer me. Inshallah, we will sit together. You know, you know, my friend, we will not sit together ever. I mean, I don't know where you live. I don't know who you are. So, what do you mean, Inshallah, we sit together? I want an answer. How you say to me that the Prophet is masoom, protected? Do you live in New York? No, I don't live in New York. I live far okay. away. No, but anyway. We, we, we do not need to sit together. Here we go. We are talking. Everybody can hear us nice and, uh, and clear. So the Quran confirmed that Muhammad is a big time sinner. So how the Quran says to us, if you obey Muhammad, you obey me. But Muhammad is a sinner. How I can obey God by obeying a sinner? It's like imagine I am going to obey a guy. You just told me he is a sinner. And the Muslims, uh, sorry to say, they lie to us. They say Muhammad is protected by God. He don't do sin. But as you see the Quran in many verses, by the way, this is one of them. Confirm that Muhammad is a big time sinner and not only that what kind of God he gave a permission and license for sin to Muhammad He said to him. I forgive your past and your coming sin What is that? Since when God he gave a license for sin why Muhammad he can sin as much he has Say even sin for the future. He will forgive it. What does that mean? So if you know if you believe in God, right? Do you believe in God so yourself? If, if you believe in God if, if you know if God, even today, if He says, if the day of judgment happens today, right? And God says, I want to enter all the people who are who are making shirk against me. I'll, I'll make them enter into Jannah. Would you question Him? It's not about the question. I question why not. I mean, I question if something doesn't make sense. If there's a contra- isn't it the Quran said, my friend? Isn't it the Quran says why they cannot understand the Quran? If this book is not from God, you will find a lot of contradiction. So Allah, He told you. He told you that if you if you you know this is how you know that this is book is from God or not so he said yes question me in this case I know in chapter 5 verse 101 it says ask not questions but here Muhammad is trying to silence anyone who asked me question but the Quran says Quran can they understand the Quran if this book is not from God they will find another another contradiction and this is a contradiction how you say to me that Muhammad is masoom and then you find you say to me Muhammad is a sinner how you say to me that I have to obey a Muhammad and then you say to me Muhammad is a sinner Who are you say to me if you obey Muhammad you obey God But you say to me that Muhammad is a big time sinner to the point may Allah forgive your sin is not even guaranteed in chapter 2 chapter 4 verse number 82 it says why they will not uh, uh, Then bounder the Quran if it had been from other than Allah They would have found in their in much uh, a lot of contradiction so the Quran is giving me the 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 the, uh, the, the, the way uh, uh, to discover his book from God or not. So and the same method I use it in the Quran, it proven to me Quran cannot be from God. Okay, brother, you you have really really good questions, and, and inshallah we could we will answer the, all those questions for you. All right, my friend. Uh, okay, so uh, as you as you know that why was Adam and Eve? They, why, why were they taken out of? Why? Why were they taken out? Of why? why? Uh, you know why? Why did the dev, devil became the cursed one? Okay. You know why did the devil became the cursed one? No, no, my friend. Why Adam and Eve was taken from heaven according to Islam? So according to Islam, why Adam and Eve they were taken out of uh, out of Jannah mm. because the was was a, a shaitan. Mm. They the was was a shaitan happened to Eve. And because when he, the loss of Shaitan happened to Eve, Eve told, told his husband, mm. Adam, mm. that let's go and eat from that tree. When that tree was forbidden for them to eat. When mm. they ate from that tree, what happened? Mm. They became naked and they were sent 
mm. to visit the face of this earth where mm. they have to live. Until now, we, we are from the lineage of Adam and Eve. Mm -hmm. But and this is my friend, this is a contradiction for what your prophet said. Your prophet said that Adam he commits sin because Allah he wrote for him his destiny to commit sin, and Adam he have no was choice. His destiny, yes, that was his destiny. So okay, so how Allah that, why Allah if this is his destiny, how Allah is going, how you just blame the shaitan that he is the one who did whisper in Adam, but the fact it was destiny written by Allah. So the whole scenario written by Allah. Allah he ordered shaitan to whisper Allah he ordered Adam to obey Allah he ordered Adam to sin and then Allah he punished Adam to sin so how we can blame shaitan for that if Allah is the one is behind this conspiracy and he is the one who did that to Adam Adam is a victim so if you know the history of shaitan when Adam was created and and in the shaitan when Allah told him to prostrate to Adam mm. what did shaitan say well, first of all, why Allah want to say to to uh, to Shaitan to protest? He did not even order him to protest. Uh, protest. Can you, not, can, exactly no, no, my friend, not. no, no, my friend. I, in front of everybody, with uh, with my respect in a friendly way, I challenge you to show me where Allah He ordered Shaitan to put straight to Adam. Okay. If you show me that, I will shave my twenty foot mustache. Okay. Go ahead. Wait a minute. Hmm. Wait a minute. You want me to help you? We can go to chapter 2, verse number 34. Okay, brother, wait a minute. Do you feel like calling a friend or somebody? Brother, yes. We I'm doing my I'm doing I'm going to my books and I'm looking from my books, okay? All right. <clears throat> I would like you, by the way, to read my books in case you like to educate yourself. You can get them from Amazon.com. Yeah, brother, I will read your books too. Yeah, you can you can search in Amazon for Christian Prince, and you can find my. You books. have you have all your questions in your book. Oh, I have answers for the questions, not only questions. I answer my the questions in my books. Yeah, sure. Go ahead and read them. Okay. Okay, brother. So as you see, there's nowhere it says that Allah he ordered Shaitan to bow down. No, nowhere it says order. He did not order Shaitan to bow down. This is a mistake. 
Surat Al-Hijr. Surat what? 15, ayah number. Surah 15, okay, verse number 31. Yeah. Okay, but he did not say, he did not say he ordered shaitan, it says he ordered the angels. This is a mistake. So could, this is a mistake in the could. this is a mistake in the Quran. The Quran is making a mistake, a very, very bad mistake. Because if Allah he ordered the angels to prostrate, why he accepting shaitan to bow down? So if you know at that time, shaitan shaitan was one, one of the person amongst the jinns. He was he was amongst the jinn that he was accepting all the messengers and he was listening to them. No, my friend, when I say I order all the cats to say meow. Why I'm expecting the dog to say meow too? He is not a cat. The Quran is so clear. It says, Allah, he ordered all the angels to prostrate. But Iblis, he did not. But Iblis is not an angel. You see, for the Christian, they believe that Shaitan is a foreign angel. You Muslim don't believe in that. You believe he's a genie, correct? So Allah, he ordered the angels. Why he is expecting Shaitan to bow down? This is not even right. If I say if all... You, if I say all... It, my, my, my friend was there with the so what so what so it doesn't matter angels, my friend angel okay let us say let's say he was there but if i am saying all angels bow down why i am upset from someone he is not an angel for not bowing down that doesn't make sense if i say so all it, all let's, girls let's, go out let's say today, let's say today mm. okay you have you have two uh, two friends let's say two friends right mm. and you both of them they're really close to you mm. Okay, one one is Abdul and one is Abdullah. Abdul and Abdullah, good good names. Okay. Good good good, good names, right? Hmm. So if you have two names, Abdul and Abdullah, hmm. if you tell Abdul, you know, both of them are really close to you. Both of them, you call them Abduls. Hmm. Okay, because they are so close to you, you just call them Abdul. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. You told, tell Abdul, come over here. If one comes, another doesn't come. How you feel? Hmm. But my friend, you forgot that Shaitan is not a Abdul and angels are not a Abdul. They are two kinds of creatures. They are not both a yeah, human. Kind of both are, no, 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 no. Listen, they you are said two. you will shave your mustache hmm. if I told you that Shaitan did not, did not make such them. No, I, I, no, I said to you, if you can show me where Allah, he ordered Shaitan to bow down. Where he ordered him, he never ordered Shaitan. He ordered the angels. So, read... Ayah number 28 from 28. And remember, when your Lord said to the angel, I'm going to create a human being from a sound giving clay made okay. of the king's mud. Hmm. Then, and when I form him perfect and blow him my, blow in him of my spirit, mm -hmm. you fall down before him prostrating. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the angels prostrated altogether. Yeah. But why, why, he, why he's upset? He was there, but he didn't prostrate. It tells, if you have all the people standing there, you tell them to bow down, and there's one person who's not. My friend, down if, to, I, no, if I, did not, if I say everybody bow down, then that would make sense. But he did not say everybody bow down. He says, وَإِذَا قَالَ رَبُّكَ لِلْمَلَائِكَةِ إِنِّي خَالِقٌ بَشَرٌ مِنْ سُلْصَالٍ مِنْ حَمِئٍ مَسْنُونٍ. So he was talking from the beginning to the angels, and you are the one who quoted that verse for me, verse number twenty-eight. So Allah, he was speaking from the beginning only to the angels. So the angels are listening now. The rest is not in the business to listen. If I say, I say to the angels, that's when I'm speaking to the angels. And then he said to them how he created Adam. No problem. And then he said, bow down. So all the angels fall in prostrate because he ordered the angels to bow down. So why he is expecting Iblis to bow down? He did not order Iblis to bow down. He, he ordered the angels. And you can see the same story because your prophet he keep repeating himself chapter 2 verse number 34 chapter 7 verse number 11 chapters uh, 15 32 chapter 7, 17 verse number 61 chapter 18 verse number 50 uh, chapter 20 verse number 16 116 26 95 uh, 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 sorry chapter uh, so it, it uh, it's all over chapter 38 verse number 74 but all of them confirming go, one thing go to, go to surah 7 surah 7 okay I, I am number 11. That's wonderful. Allah, he can, again, he ordered the angels to bow down. He did not order Iblis to bow down. What should you do? Illa Iblis. Okay, my friend, he, but he was speaking to the, to the angels. And we created you then. My friend, does, does, it, say, does, does it say, does it say, my friend, you, my friend, you said, you said you speak Arabic. Read, it, read the verse for me in Arabic, please. 
لقد خلقناكم ثم صورناكم ثم قلنا للملائكة اشجد اشجد ثم للملائكة اشجد لآذا فاشجد إلا إبليس لم لما يكون من الساجدين Thank you very much. By the way, you have a nice voice. I'd like to hear you sometime if we have a party. My friend, here it says ثم قلنا ثم قلنا للملائكة ثم قلنا للملائكة We said to the angels He did not say that to all. He said to the angels only. So how you say to me, read that verse because he ordered Iblis. He did not order Iblis. So we say to the angels, bow down to Adam. And they did bow down except Iblis. He did not. But this is a mistake here. If he is Iblis, is not one of the angels, how you expect him to bow down? That is the most silly statement ever. If I say all cats get out, then I will I cannot be upset from the dog for staying home. I said cats. Cats and dogs are not even the same. So the Quran confirmed that genies are made from fire, angels are made from light. They are two different creatures. And the word of your God, Allah, is so clear. He said, I ordered the angels, then told the angels. Fall and prostrate. Did you see the name of Iblis here? No. So why he is expecting Iblis to bow down? So this is a clear mistake in the story. You now, go to the next verse. What 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 does Allah ask? He did not. He, okay. Said, yeah, yeah, yeah but but you see. Okay. Yeah. yeah but, okay. Well, here we go. So he said to him, "What what uh, what make you you know like this is the the funniest what stuff about Muhammad." From yes. When I ordered, you, okay. He said, "I'm better than him." Okay. Okay. And um, um, oh, thank you very much for mentioning this. This is a proven Islam to be a pagan religion because the first one who ordered angels to bow down to a man, it was Allah. Allah obviously is a pagan god. He should not allow anyone to bow down to Adam, to human. Adam is a human at the end of the day. How you ask them to bow down to Adam if he is just a man? So the first one who started paganism, worshipping someone, not God, bowing down, because bowing down is an act of worship. And the same time, he said to him, why you are not bowing down? Iblis, he's smarter than the God of Islam. He said to him, why I want to bow down to him? What I did, if you read the story, my friend, and you're supposed to, I'm assuming you are a sheikh. It was the angels who accuse Allah, saying to him, are you going to create someone he would do mischiefment? So shaitan, the poor shaitan, he did not even open his mouth. He did not say he would do mischiefment. He was not involved in the story. So Allah, he said to the angels, okay, I'm going to get you busted. I'm going to teach Adam uh, all the names. And then uh, he brought them and he said to them, okay, Adam, before he brought Adam in front of them and he told them, I will bring the things in front of you and I want you to recite the names. They said to him, Allah, only you, you know, is only we know only what you taught us. And then Allah, He said to Adam, "Hey, okay, Adam, tell them the names." And then Adam started reciting zucchini, potato, tomato, etc. And this is how Allah He proved that He is all knowledgeable, and the angels are wrong. So the whole story is about a fight between Allah and the angels. So what the poor shaitan have to do with this? And then Allah He proved to them that because He named the zucchini and the tomato and the potato the names, supposedly that would mean His God, which is very silly. Because if I have a dog and I call him Susu, and I ask you, what is the name of my dog? And you say to, not, to me, I do not know. That does not mean I'm God. I'm the one who gave him the name. What about we do with vice versa, the opposite way? What about the angel? He asked them, okay, name it, give it names. And don't tell me the names, and I will tell you the names, which means I know the unseen. So your God here is fabricating a story, Muhammad, and he is coming with a funny story. He, the angels fighting with Allah, and then he expected that Iblis, and then Allah, he ordered the angels to bow down to Adam, because they say that he would do mischiefment, and then Allah He says to Adam that to Iblis, why you did not bow down? This is the most silly, funny story ever I heard in my life. Go ahead. Okay, brother. So you as you know that that uh, Iblis was Iblis his name at that time was Azazil. 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 You know okay. about this? I know I know about that. This is your prophet. He took it from the from the Legion of the Jews. Okay. In the Legion of the Jews, if you go to the book, it's called the Book of Enoch, which is a false book. You will see that there's 21 angels. One of them is Azazil, Azazil and, and Muhammad is copying from the Jews. No problem. Go ahead. Okay. Hmm. And by the way, where do you get this name from? Where it says that his name at that time, it was Azazil. Where do you get this name uh, from? Brother, first, first you have, I have to clarify your, your misunderstanding. Hmm. Why? Okay. Listen first. Listen, you are yeah. saying, first, if God created you, hmm. Okay, 
God created you and God tells, gives you an order to do, the, do this. Would you do it or not? If God created me and ordered me to do that, to do something, well, depend like if I am, if I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, if I'm a, told you to go and pick up that stone or pick up that tree, take out that tree, dig, dig that tree, mm. would you do it or not? It depends because if I am a if I'm a believer, I will do it. If not, I will not. Yeah, that's what that's, that's thank you so much for that. So if you are a believer, you will do it. If mm. you're a believer in God, let's say Jesus, Jesus is upon him, he came to them, he told you mm. that um Mr. Christian, mm. let's let's go and kiss this stone or kiss this tree. Would you do it or not? Okay, did, did, so, Allah, did Allah say to Muhammad kiss a stone? You, you are the one who told me that the this, Arab... This, I'm just giving an example. My so. friend, you are the one who said to me that the Arab before Muhammad used to kiss the stone. So you're a prophet kissing the, the same as the Arab pagan Arab they kiss the stone. He's worshipping the same God. Correct? Wait a minute, brother. So, you, you, for some time, uh, my, 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 my example was to, to you once, hmm. that if Jesus come today and tells you to prostrate to this tree. Mm. Would you prostrate or not? If Jesus he told me to a tree? He told you a tree. No, I will leave Christianity. This, this is an example. Yeah, I'm, I'm telling you, if he, if he said that to me, worship a tree, to bow down to a tree, I will leave Christianity. So why would you leave Christianity if you believe because in that, that, that Because God? he cannot be God. He cannot be God then because he is worship, asking me to bow down. To idols, this is not cannot he, be from he God. Try, he's trying to check you if you're obeying him or not. No, no, my friend, God will not it, 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 it test me by giving me a, a order to do sin. This is false uh, argument. So you are saying to me that your God, Allah, your God, Allah, He wanted to prove that He is God. He ordered you to kiss a stone. That means He's a He's a Satan. You know, isn't it you? Is it you know? It's like okay, is, so, isn't it you? Else, now my topic to you is something. I'm I'm staying somewhere else. You're going somewhere else. I'm telling you. Hmm. That if Jesus came today and tell you to prostrate to a tree, try to check if you are, if you are obeying him or not. No, but you said I will not, not. I will not. not I will not obey him because that means he is the Dajjal. He is the false Messiah. He is maybe Muhammad. There is no way Jesus will order me to uh, to go. To... I have another question from you. Go, give me that. Try, try today, something better. A man, a man comes uh, comes comes down to you. Mm. In one hand, he has he has Jannah. In the second hand, he has fire. Mm. And this guy, he can he can kill, and he will bring the person back to life. Mm. This guy can make a person poor and rich. Mm. And this guy claims to be Jesus. Would you believe it? No. Because the Lord, He said to me, "Test the spirit." I have to examine it. So if He teach me false teaching, we don't only go only because somebody, the Messiah, He said that there is false prophet and false teachers will come after me. And even he says, not everyone says to me, God, God will enter the kingdom of my father, but the one who do is well. And then they said to him, well, isn't it us? We did cast demon and we did miracle in your name. So people, they will come and they make miracles, but they, they can be false using the name of God. So my friend, that is not the proof that this is Jesus. The proof is his ethic, his teaching, examine the spirit. The spirit of God is holy. Your God cannot be holy. And you are the one who just a second ago, you said to me that the black stone was sent from heaven. What kind of God will teach? That there's a stone sent from heaven and that what that make it holy by the way you are wrong about that because according to your islamic books the black stone became black it's only because of sin according to islamic books the black stone because became black because women they used to touch their vagina with their blood when they have period and they place their hand inside the stone and that is the sin how we it make it you know because women at that time they believe if she is not getting pregnant Obviously, Allah Baal is upset and he is not making her bread net. So what she do? She go around the stones, around the Kaaba, naked. Men and women, they go naked. And you know that, that the Arab before Muhammad, even in the time of Muhammad, used to go naked around the Kaaba. And then the women, she placed her hand in her vagina and she put it in the wall, in, 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 the, in the black stone. You, you are explaining the Arab before. Yes, but, uh, but 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 this is what Muhammad he carried from the Arab. You said to me that Allah he said that this is a black stone from heaven. But you know you 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 are trying to ignore what you Muslim says. This is not even the Arab what they say. The, uh, this is what the Muslims believe. Let me show you, my friend. Here we go. This is okay. Tafsir al Hawi. You can you can see the screen, right? Okay. Oh, yeah. I see okay. okay. Tafsir al Hawi. It says that this is your Imam saying. 
وجاء جبريل بالحجر الأسود من السماء. And Gabriel he brought the the black stone from the from the sky. And it says that uh, uh, Abu Qubais that there's a mount next to Mecca. I don't know if you've been there before. Next to it, a small mount. It's called Abu Qubais. The Muslim believe that Abu Qubais hold the black stone inside his belly during the the the, the flood of Noah to save it from being drifted by the flood because the flood of Noah covered all the earth, including the Kaaba. And then when the flood is over, فَنْشَقَّ so the black stone came over. And then it was hiding during the, the flood of Noah, and it was a, a white pearl from heaven. And when the blood of the women from period touched it, during the pre-Islamic of ignorance, it became a black. Am I lying, my friend? Or this is your books? Okay, brother. If you know the history before before Islam came, the people what they do to it, that's before Islam. You get it? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. This is a, this is a stone inherited from the pagan, and Muhammad adopted the same as he did with as Safa al Marwa. Isn't it as Safa al Marwa? It was a practice of the pagan before Islam, and then the Muslims they refused to practice, and then Muhammad he said to them, "Don't you know that uh, Allah He just gave me a verse saying that as Safa al Marwa is a from." The, the the ritual of Allah. How in the world the Safa and Marwa is from the ritual of Allah? Of Allah? From, Allah from Allah because if you know the the mother of Ismail, when she put her baby on the floor and she was looking for water and because the baby was crying and she had no food, no milk in her chest, hmm. so she would go to one mount and look for water and then walk to the and walk to the other mount <laughs> and look for water okay. to see if anyone any caravan is coming. Hmm. Okay, my friend, is that to make it holy? I mean, this is the most silly answer ever I can hear with my respect to you. So if a woman, her name is Hajar, she go okay. between two months, that make it, we will make it from the ritual of law. Yeah, question, question, listen, brother. Hmm. Your problem over here is that your belief in God is not, not strong. You, really? your, belief, your belief is mostly psychologically. Your, hmm. your questioning is mostly, mostly scientific. You, you want to try to prove everything logically, scientifically. Hmm. Well, with God, everything is not proven scientifically. My friend, I am, I am proving to you from your Islamic books. What you said to me about Asafa and Marwa is false. Because if you go to your Islamic books, and you will see that there was two idols for two men, a man and a woman, they have six. And because they have sex, the Arab believe that Allah He cursed them and He made them about idols. The era of Ibrahim, no, I have nothing to do with Ibrahim. Ibrahim, he, he never been. Ibrahim, he never been in the Kaaba. This is the fiction of, of Muslims. There is no way Abraham will go there. And by the way, if Abraham he went there, why he left? Why he did not die there? I mean, how in the world this guy he went all the way and Allah He ordered him to build the Kaaba or to rebuild the Kaaba? One kid is Haq and the second kid is Ma'il. Mm. He said, okay. from that you know that he has two kids, one is Ma'il and one is Haq. Okay, and Ishmael, Ishmael is from where? Ishmael is from, he's from the, he's the son, one of the son of Ibrahim. Okay, who is his mother? Who is his mother? His mother is Hajar. Okay, Hajar. So she is an Egyptian, right? Yes. Okay, Abraham is from where? So... Abraham Abraham is from where? I'm trying to explain you are saying that it was a pagnic worship, worship, but it's not a pagnic worship. It okay, my friend, my my friend. Even if you know, even if you know that the the the, the jamara in the, in the mina, where people go on the hash time, they do the jamara. Hmm. Do you know why why people do jamara over there? Because this is from the pagan belief that believe that there is a shaitan, he have a house there. Brother, brother, it's not a pagan belief. It's a pagan it's belief. Brother, listen, at the time of Prophet Ibrahim, hmm. when Prophet Ibrahim saw a dream, in a dream he saw that he was slaughtering his own son. Hmm. Okay, he was slaughtering his own son, Ismail. And when he was taking Ismail in his, with him, the Satan, Haikam, he came to him in a, he came to him in a form of he came to him in a form of a big shaitan, then a medium shaitan, then a small shaitan. Hmm. But Ibrahim and Ismail both they rejected them. Hmm. They rejected shaitan. They told them in stone. Okay, uh, may I ask you please? Right. Where do you get the story they from? What was was that Ibrahim hmm. that that the dream that you saw is not true? Don't follow the, the dream. Even the shaitan told Ismail that don't follow the dream. It's not true. 
So you are saying to me that the dream, the dream uh, Abraham he saw to slaughter his son is from Shaitan. It's not from Shaitan. It's, it's from the, Allah. The dream, that, the dream that he saw okay. was from Allah. Okay. 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 You said to me that Shaitan he came to him as a big Shaitan and a small Shaitan. In three different forms. Hmm. Different form. The, what is the form? What is the form? The first form is, is on big, bigger form. The second form is medium. The third is, and the third one is the small. What okay. is the form? Three. What is the form? What is the form? Is it shaitan? Is it if you know shaitan is jinn? Okay. He would come in different shapes. Hmm. To try to put wasfasa in the heart of Ismail. Okay. So shaitan he come in different not form. From the dream, not from the okay. Kind of dream. Okay, true. Is it true? Is it true that Shaitan he come to to uh, to the pro to Prophet Abraham, and he was trying to burn him by coming as a lizard? So, brother, let me tell you, it, it, you are going back to the stories of Ibrahim You are you are the only one who mentioned that to me because I'm, I'm trying to show you. I'm trying to show you. I'm trying to show you that Islam is nothing but fictions. How in the world want me to believe that? Shaitan, he became a lizard, and then he started blowing wind at at Abraham, and the purpose is to burn him alive. How in the world do you want me to believe that your God is saying something really real, and yet uh, uh, a little lizard, Salamander, he is burning Abraham by blowing wind at him? So if you know that Shaitan, shaitan from day one is banning of all human beings. Mm. But a shaitan is a salamander. I'm not saying it's salamander. Well, your prophet, he said so. But your prophet, he said so. Your prophet, he said so. Are you against what your prophet said? You know what, what I'm saying. Listen to me first, then mm. we'll go what our prophet, peace be upon him, said. Mm. What I'm saying is the shaitan from day one, he's our enemy. Mm. You know, you believe that? Mm. Yes or no? I believe what? Say again? Do you believe that shaitan, devil, he is from the one or enemy of all human beings. Yes, he is the no. enemy. No, I believe Allah is the real enemy because the Quran says that the one who Allah he deceived, no one can guide. So shaitan is not a problem. If shaitan misguide me, uh, I can be guided by someone. But if Allah deceived me, nobody can guide me. So the number one enemy is the real deceiver, is Allah. Shaitan is just a victim. It's the same as what your prophet he said about Adam. Adam he commits sin. Why? Because Allah he wrote in his destiny that you will commit sin. So Shaitan is just an employee for Allah. He do what Allah told him to, to make people commit sin. So why you are blaming Shaitan when the fact I not made him an employee? If you know, if you go back to the ayat, okay. when well, Allah asked him, "Why didn't you prostrate to Shaitan?" Uh, to uh, when Allah asked Iblis, "Why didn't you prostrate to Adam?" Hmm. What did he say? He said that you, you, may, you, you may okay here we go here we go okay you, you just approved to me my point because Allah is ordering the angels to bow down and this is shirk because how in the world do you order someone to bow down to a man and you are yet God but it's the order it's the order of the God it's not the order so Allah of so, God. so Allah is the so Allah is the first mushrik the first one he taught no problem no problem no problem the first one who, who taught a shirk according to you according to the Quran the first one who taught shirk is Allah. He ordered everybody to bow down to a man. Thank you very much. The secondly, you, you the, 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 secondly, my friend, let me answer you. Secondly, you said Shaitan. He said to him, "Why I'm going to bow down for him?" And he's right. I mean, why? Shaitan he commit no sin. He did not do anything wrong. And yet Allah went on to bow. He is not even part of the conversation. It was the angels arguing with Allah. So why he get angry from Shaitan? Number three, number three, Shaitan is saying to him, "You created him from mud. I created me from fire." And now you are saying to me that Allah will send Shaitan to fire to burn the hell? That is, that's crazy. He's, he's, he's made from fire. And number four, you're a prophet. He said in the hadith that Adam and Musa, they have an argument. And Musa says to Adam, Oh, Adam, you are our father. You de deprived us and caused us to come out of paradise. Adam said to him, You are Musa's. Allah chose you for his speech and wrote the Torah for you with his hand. Do you blame me for what for doing deed which Allah had decreed that I should do 40 years before my creation? And then your prophet he says, So, uh, uh, Adam he uh, refuted uh, uh, Musa's Adam he refuted Musa's three times as usual. So, as you see here, Adam he's saying to Musa's, Can you blame me 
for the sin which Allah he wrote for me and I have to do I should do I have no choice so why we are playing the devil the devil is a poor guy and Adam is a poor guy the real one we can blame here in this case is your God Allah he is the one who wrote the scenario okay Adam I will make you I will force you I will force you to commit sin so Adam have no choice he forced shaitan to commit sin he ordered shaitan to be the enemy of man and to commit sin and he orders Adam to obey shaitan and now we have a sinner his name is Adam so in the bit here you see in the front of you and this is Sahih, a Sahih Hadith where your prophet agree that Adam was right and Moses was wrong so how you can say to me who is the biggest enemy to, to mankind I say it is Allah because if I am Adam I will be now crying for the unjust Allah he made me do sin and yet he punished me and he kicked me out of heaven but it was him who forced me brother <clears throat> so you, your question back go, we'll go back to the uh, shaitan didn't uh, ma made the such the prostration okay mm. go back there just wait a minute what do you want to ask about this one you don't want to answer about Allah he is ordering uh, about about your prophet explain that shaitan and Adam are victims of Allah crime okay brother so i was trying to i was trying to tell you that we should go back so let's say today president trump being that because i live in america today he did he made the shutdown today okay he made the shutdown for more than now it's the second month that he did okay mm. can you can anyone stop him to oh can anyone tell him to open the government if he doesn't want to so you are can saying anyone, to me your god can, can anyone, uh, just listen first okay i'm i'm i'm, I'm, I'm going to answer you you, you said to me can anyone then we'll go back to okay the world so you are so saying to I me that your god is evil uh, the same as a trump he decided even as trump now and he decided to shut down so what is what is it comparing to i mean uh, can you who cares if i can or not if he is so evil he's so powerful does not change the fact that he is evil so you are saying to me we have an evil god who make us commit sin and we have no brother, choice but to obey his sin. You are keep on interrupting what I'm saying. No, I am not. You're not letting me talk. I am not, my friend. I, I am. I'm just having a conversation with you. We having tea and coffee together. Take your coffee. You are the one who mentioned to me Trump, and you are saying to me, "Can you stop him?" So you are saying to me, "We can't stop Allah." So Allah is very evil, very powerful, but we cannot do anything about it. What we can do, but yet that will not change the fact that this is not just and this is not fair. So first, what you gotta do is first, brother. I recommend you mm. to first learn what God is in Islam or in Christianity. Christianity, first learn that. Christianity, uh, first of all, our if God. Jesus, our, if our, Jesus our, tell you, mm. if Jesus tell you, right? Jesus tell you, do mm. this. Would you do that? Like I told you, prostrate I, to the I told you, just to I, see I, if you're I, obedient or not. I told you many times. If you told me, to, no. if you order me to no. do wrong, I will do. I will not do wrong. If he told me to do wrong, that's mean. That's mean. Brother, my friend, that's my friend. No, no, Someone. no, no, no. This is not a punishment. This is not a punishment. Why he's why he's punishing Adam? Adam, he is forced to commit sin, as you see. This is not a punishment. Why in the world you force me to do sin and then you punish me for committing sin and then you kick me out of heaven for saying to me you all commit sin? That is the most crazy argument. The one who should be kicked out of from heaven but is are Allah. You, are you an atheist? My friend, I am a Christian. I am a believer more than you. You believe in a black stone. I believe in the true God. I don't believe in kissing stones. I condemn. You have a wrong conception of Islam. My friend, really you are the one who have no answer, as you see. How in the world, Allah, He judge Adam for committing sin when Adam is his sin is written forty years before his creation? How we can say to Adam, you are a sinner, if Allah is the one who decide his sin and He made him commit sin? Where is justice? Where is God? So God you, is about can, justice. Can you, can you change it? No. Oh, so you are saying to me, Allah is evil. We cannot change him. Thank you very much. I'm not saying Allah is evil. You just That's say what that. He's about. He can do anything to you. He okay, can make you, okay. He can make so, you but, he can make but, you a donkey. He can make you turn your dentist. No like, problem. But do. but that to prove that Allah is evil doesn't matter. You are saying to me, we cannot change it. That's evil. He's a god. He, he whatever he wants, he could do. So if he wants to make you. <laughs> he believe he will make you believe. He would doesn't want to make you believe. He will not would not make you believe. My friend. You get it, brother? My friend. Can I have your, uh, you, you are a sheikh in which mosque? And uh, maybe I, if I stop in in, uh, in New York one day, I can uh, pay you a visit if you don't mind. Okay, brother. So come to uh, Astoria. Astoria. Can you give me the uh, the, 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 the okay, full name I'll, and I'll the address? address on my, uh, right. on my uh, you, are, you, are, you, are, you are a nice person, I have to admit, you know. 
And I apologize if I am really too much tough on you, but I have to say the truth, and the truth has to be as it is. But as you see, my friend, you, your explanation to God that because he is so powerful, so he can make us commit sin, and then he will punish us for doing sin, which he made us do, that is not God. God is about justice. Isn't it you Muslims, you call your God Al-Adil? Al-Adil means the just. How he can be called such a name after this? To call somebody Adil, you have to be just. Brother, listen to me, brother. Hmm. If you really look into it, that if, what is God first, right? God, God is someone who created you, right? Yes. Who created, who created us from dust. If God created him from dust, and he now ordered you to do to do this and do that, would you would you follow it or not? You said no. You, I, you would I, not follow I it. I told you. I, I told you. You right? see. You see, yeah, God, he gave up. But for me, brother, for mm. me on my side, whatever mm. God tells me, whatever he, he says, I'll follow it. But I'll, you know what, what? God never told us to kill innocent people. Never, brother. It is a wrong concept about Islam. You know about this. God never told us to kill innocent people. God never told us to go and kill. Are you sure? People. Any, anyone. No, never. God never told Muslims to kill innocent people. Really? God never told anyone. Because okay. uh, my, my, my student, he told me that you come on, come on the show live and you tell people that Islam is an evil religion. Islam teaches evilness. But Islam never does that. But okay, my friend. Let me ask you: When your ISIS, when your prophet he attacked, when your prophet he attacked Bani Mustaliq, did they commit anything against him? Bani Mustaliq they never fought him. He attacked them. He killed the men. He took the women and he raped them. So what do you mean he did not command? Isn't it your prophet? He said in chapter nine, verse twenty-nine: "Go and kill the Christians and the Jews unless they pay you the jizya." Your God, He is teaching gang mentality. If we pay you jizya, we pay you money. We can live. And we can even stay kuffar as long we pay. If we don't pay, we die. So how you say to me, Allah never ordered to kill innocent? Isn't it your prophet? He said, I've been ordered to kill all mankind, not to fight only. In Arabic, it says, uqatil. You speak Arabic. So I've been ordered to kill all mankind until they say there's no God but Allah. So how you say to me that Islam never ordered to, to kill anyone is not uh, unless he is guilty. In Islam, if you are not a Muslim, you are guilty. The second you say you refuse Allah, you are guilty by being a kafir, and that is enough to kill you. And your prophet confirmed that, and this is Sahih Hadith, and this can be sponsored in the Quran. So my friend, my name is a Christian prince, and nobody can play games with me. And you can tell, I if you know 10% about Islam, humbly I say, I know a thousand times more than you about Islam. Don't make but things. I'm, not I'm, I'm zero. You are, you are no you problem. Are, you are but people can be judged. Yes. But you are saying things to me. You cannot prove it. How in the world you say to me that Islam order us not to kill innocent people? It is Islam saying kill innocent people just because they are not Muslim. They are not innocent. So I believe this is a form of deception. Trying to say to us what we hear in the TV stations that Islam is peace. When your prophet says, "I've been ordered to kill all mankind," and you, you got the, you got to look at the context of Quran. Okay, give Quran me the context, my friend. Here we go. We have to look. We have to look like summarize everything. Look, okay. no problem. Look, everything. look, no problem. Is it your prophet who said that we commanded to find all so, people? Is, is, is God God sent prophets or prophets prophets or prophets to the Jews? Then He sends to the Jews. Jesus and they believe in Jesus as, as, as a God then they believe they believe in in uh, Uzair as a God they they worship cow they who is Uzair by the way God. who is Uzair so think about it if uh, God is keep that is sending messages keep sending messengers they're killing messengers they're killing all those people they're killing those people who are believing hmm. okay okay did you say my friend did you say the Jews they're killing uh, people can you name for me one messenger the Jews they killed the Jews they killed they killed Yahya can you show me the reference, please? Yeah, they have more other prophets. We don't have. We, we listen, brother. We we follow. We believe in Torah. We believe. No, you in don't the believe Bible. in the Torah. No, okay, you don't believe in the Torah. Do you believe the Torah today is a true Torah? The, the Torah today, listen, brother. The Torah, the time of our prophet Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, is different than the Torah that we. That, okay, so that we how have you? Today. So where do you get the story that they killed the the, the 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 Jews? They killed the prophet. His name is Yahya. Where you get this story from? Is that from the Quran? It is not. Where do you get the story that the Jews they killed the Prophet? I told you who is the Prophet. You said Yahya, right? You are listening first to my, my my what I'm saying. Okay, but I want I want I want reference. You said to me from the Torah. You don't believe in the Torah. I'll give you references, brother. Just wait. Okay. Hmm. I'll give you references. Okay. From the, from Tafsir, you will give me Tafsir. 
uh, tafsir is coming from the Torah too. Okay, brother. If, uh, as I told you, that God was keeps sending messengers to the, to the humanity to guide them, but they what they would do is they will kill. They will kill all those messengers. Okay, I have, I have a smaller question for you before you go. Maybe you are tired. Let me ask you. You just said that the Jews they killed many prophets. Is that correct? Of course, brother. Okay. Why they could not kill Jesus? Why Allah decided to save Jesus only, but not the rest? As long as they are prophet, and the Quran says we don't differentiate between prophets. So how come the Jews even they killed Muhammad? They killed him by poison. So Muhammad died by poison, and the Quran confirm that some you called imposter liars and some you slay. But yet we see that Allah decide only to save Jesus. <laughs> Do you have an explanation for this? Why and only? Jesus will be saved when your prophet he was killed by poison. Okay, brother, listen first. Hmm. My mic? Yes, go ahead. Okay, brother. Okay, brother. If you really look look into this, right? If you look that at the time when they were, they were about to kill Jesus, right? Hmm. And according to the beliefs of Christian, if someone dies on the cross, what what is he? If he dies, no. If if he die in the cross and he is a guilty, he's a criminal. He will be cursed if you are a criminal because everyone who die in the cross, dies in the cross will be cursed, right? If he is a criminal, if he is a criminal, because if you are you die in the cross, my friend, that, they, were, they were putting my friend, my friend, uh, my friend, my friend, my friend, because my, they were trying, they were trying to humiliate you. No, no, Islam. no, this is not the reason. The cross is a punishment of the Roman, and the Bible says. Whoever killed in the cross, because usually only criminals who commit big crimes, they are putting them in the cross. So whoever die in the in the wood crucified, he is cursed for he's a criminal. But Jesus commit no crime, as you know. So now we ask you, why Allah decide to save Jesus, but He don't decide to save Muhammad? As you see in Sahih al Bukhari, your prophet he said that he died by poison, which he ate in Khaybar. And he said that the, 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 the poison I ate is, is cutting my aorta. And then right away after that, he died. And he keep repeating that many times. So proven to us from your Islamic source, Muhammad died by poison. Jesus, according to, to, to Muslims, he was saved by Allah. The question is very simple. Why Allah saved Jesus, but he didn't want to save Muhammad? So if you know, brother, that Jesus, at that time when they were trying to crucify him God mm. took him up to the to the heavens okay so, what, so I say again what I did not get you what so God took him to the heavens when they were trying to crucify Jesus okay why Muhammad why Allah did not okay. take now, Muhammad to heaven if you if you really know Bible even if you go to your priests mm. right you they will tell you that there was there was a prophet that God would tell each prophet that there's a prophet coming to my last prophet even if he comes in your time You have to believe in him mm. and you have to follow his teachings mm. And what does have to do with my question? Agree? Why Allah did not save Muhammad? Agree That okay, okay, Allah okay, told every prophet that I will send a prophet that will be my last prophet if he comes in your time You have to follow him what last whatever prophet? He who is the last prophet? As I'm saying to you that that even in Bible is even in in uh, Torah mm. Okay, mm. the God told that there's a there will be a messenger the servant of Allah mm. will come to you The Bible says that the of the prophethood. I don't know. I don't know. Mm. I, I, I just learned this from you I never even saw the word Allah in the Bible. What are you talking about and how Muhammad can be the messenger of, of God? Yet the Quran says look like my friend. You do not know uh, your, your religion Isn't it the Quran says we never send a messenger unless he speak the language of the people so in order for Muhammad to, to be a, a messenger to the Jews, he have to speak the language of the Jews and he have to be one of them. And this will be a contradiction for the Quran. Look like you Muslims, you don't respect the Quran and you make fun of Allah's words. In chapter 14, verse number 4 says, we send not a messenger except to teach in the language of his own people. So in order for Muhammad to be a messenger for the Jews and for the Christians from different ethnic group, he have to be from the people, speaking the tongue of the people. So how you explain that to me? So you are contradicting yourself, contradicting your religion, and you are showing no respect to the book of Allah. Oh, brother, I'm, I show all my respect, respect to the book of Allah. Brother. So why you are saying that to me? How Muhammad can be a messenger if the Quran is saying we never sent? We never sent. No exception. We never sent. That means that at the time of Musa, no, my friend, this is not in the time of Musa. This verse came in the time of Muhammad. 
Okay, the coming the time of Muhammad, but mm. God is talking about that we send messengers to the mm. people in their own language. Oh, correct. So Muhammad he was sent, okay. and but we so never Muhammad sent. Muhammad was sent to the Arabian Arabian people okay. over there. There were Jewish people mm. and there were Christian people over there too. Mm. But no, but 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 they are not from the people. They are not Arab. The Jewish they are they are refugee. So uh, we never send. So what, what the Quran confirming here, and even the Quran says we send you to the, we send the Quran in Arabic. So you can warn the people of uh, uh, of the uh, of the town of uh, Mecca and what is around it, correct? So the Quran confirmed that this is only for the people in Mecca and around it only and those who speak the language. So how Muhammad can be a messenger mentioned in the Bible? That is the first story which is fabricated by the Muslims because they are, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, looking for, uh, 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 you know, uh, any proof that Muhammad is a prophet. But as you see. Muhammad cannot be a prophet of God for a very simple reason. You should not kiss the stones. You should not go around the stones. You should not believe in the holy stones. And you should not be a pagan. And Muhammad, everything he teach, he taught you about the Safa al-Marwa. The Safa al-Marwa is nothing but to a, a man and a woman. They have sex together, as you see in the screen. And the, uh, uh, the pagan, they believe that uh, uh, Allah, he struck them and he made them two idols. And this is the book of Asbab al-Nuzul. The same book we read it from before your, your, your scholar so your scholars teaching that there is two idols they were there and they were worshipped by the by the Arab pagan and this is why the, the Muslim after they join Islam they thought Muhammad will change this this is why it says uh, we refuse to pre perform a Safa al Marwa and then Muhammad because Al Ansar they like to do a Safa al Marwa so Muhammad to make them happy he says that the Safa al Marwa they are from the shrine of Allah, read with me carefully. Ibn Malik said, We dislike going between a Safa and Al Marwa uh, uh, because they wear the shrine of Quraysh, they are pagan of the pre Islamic period, and we abandon them in Islam. Now, do the do the pagan of Quraysh believe in Abraham and uh, the story you told me? No, this is fiction. This one, thank they, you, brother. Okay, the, the people of every time if you even if you look go to go to the, the time of musa mm. at that time if you look the people that are first following musa when musa was there what musa yeah. those are pagan arab they have nothing to do with musa right. come listen, on my friend brother, i'm telling you, you i'm telling you something you have to listen now okay <laughs> they, they were following the teaching of musa but when musa left what did what did the jews do they started, they made their own idol a cow and they started worshiping the cow mm. Okay. Mm. Okay, brother. So when the mm. prophet left, what they do? They they worship the cow. Mm. So if you go back to that time now, e Prophet Isa, when he came, mm. he he spoke even as a baby that I'm I'm Abdullah. Mm. I'm the servant of Allah. I'm the servant of God. Mm. He said that, right? He said so that. When he, this is in at that book, time, I mean. the people, because the Jews, they were they were accusing Maryam mm. that she committed adultery, but she never committed adultery with anyone. Mm. But how the Jews will will accuse Mary committed adultery if Mary, they were accusing she, Mary at that time because how, Mary was 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 the daughter of Imran. She was, my friend, how, did you say that Mary is the daughter of Imran? Oh, we are losing him. Hello. Hello. Yeah, it looked like we lost him. Anyway, it, that's that will be endless. Guys, uh, did you have fun? Did you have a good time? A shake when I debate me. I don't even dare to debate myself. What a big mistake. Anyway, he's welcome to call us anytime. Uh, feel free to download this video, share it everywhere. You can cut it from the time he starts calling me because that will teach everybody how Islam is really nothing but a fiction. It's a collection of stupidity. And those who claim to be sheikhs, they have no answer. Hello? Sorry, it's my, all right. It's all, it's all right. No problem. No, 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 no. uh, charge went off. No, so, no. brother. Okay. Yeah. So, Maryam, she was from the lineage of Yaqub. Okay. Let me, let me ask you. Let me ask you. 
when you when you when you say that Miriam is the daughter of Omran, Omran, where is where is this coming from? Is it really is really Mary the daughter of Omran? As the forefather, the lineage of Maryam uh -huh. comes from the lineage of Yaqub This is not a question. The Quran says that Mary is the daughter of Omran. Is that correct? Yes, of course, brother. Okay, what is the name of the father of Moses? Imran. Okay, so now we have Moses and Mary, they have the same father and they are brothers and sisters. Even today, brother, hmm. can't you have two in one family? No, you have, let's say, your no, name is Christian. No. No, Your my, name is Christian. First of all, Moses, Moses is not from the same tribe of Mary. This is number one. Secondly, secondly, I'm saying lineage. I'm not saying tribe, brother. No, I'm no saying lineage. still, still lineage will not be the same because at the end of the day, they aren't from the same tribe. Say, secondly, the father of Mary, her, his name is not Omran. So why Muhammad he called the wrong name? Simply because he thought that Maryam, the sister of Moses and the sister of Aaron, is the same Maryam, is the sister of uh, 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 of 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 Moses, uh, the, the mother of Jesus. So Muhammad he says, "Ya Ukta Harun, all sister of Aaron," because he thought that those are family, and all of them they have one father. His name is Amran. So your prophet cannot be a prophet. How he cannot quote a name correctly? He, his history is wrong, and he quoting name cor wrong, and he claimed that uh, uh, Aaron is the is oh. the same have the same father as Mary, which is Amran. In the same time, he said to her, "Oh sister of Aaron." So this is additional proof that your prophet can't be a prophet. It's a fiction. It's a lie. Same time, go and read the Bible. Why the Christians even need to change the name of the father of Mary? Why even the, the Jews need to change the name of the father of of uh, of Moses or or Aaron? In bo both names, your prophet he called, he called them correct wrongly. You have so many questions, brother. I know you have so many. Man, that's good to have questions always. All right. Allah, Allah, Allah loves those people who have questions. No, okay? my friend, this is not true. This is not. Questions. This is not a true. No, the Quran, the Quran, the Quran. No, Allah don't love those who, who who have a question. This is not true. In chapter five, verse number one one oh one, Allah says, "Ask not questions." So why you say to me, Allah, He's, He loves those who love, uh, who ask questions. Ask for no questions. At time today, we have com complete Quran. Today mm. is for the people that at the time of uh, Muhammad peace be upon him. Mm. They didn't have the complete Quran. They didn't have the understanding that, that today we have. Uh -huh. What does that? You mean? get it, brother. What does that mean? Okay, brother. Today we have a complete Quran. We don't have a complete Quran. Of... Where do you get this from? Where do you get this from? Isn't it Aisha? She said that the chapter of Al-Ahzab used to be equal to the chapter of Al-Baqarah. Isn't it Omar? He said that the Quran uses a, a, a thousand, thousand, and twenty-seven thousand letter, which means we don't have even twenty-five percent of the Quran. Isn't it Aisha in the Hadith? She said we were busy with the Prophet. A goat came and ate the Quran. I mean, you Muslims, you are copy paste. You say things to us. You yourself don't believe in it. How we have the complete Quran when all your Islamic reference says the Quran is gone, brother? If you know, if you look at the hadith of Aisha, mm. it says the God came and ate mm. the two, two verses, and that verses she kept, she kept for her memory. That was about Stony Ramal. Okay, tell me, tell me from your memory, please. The and breast. That was about okay, tell me the bre the breastfeeding for adult uh, from your memory. As long as you said we keep it in the memory, I want to I want you to recite for me the breast uh, feeding for adult ten time verse. Do you remember it? Then time was listen, brother. First, hmm. this this there's nothing missing from the Quran, and Quran is completely complete. There's hmm. nothing wrong. My with friend, Quran. do you memorize it? Do you and memorize the breast? Now we have adult? to go back. We have to go back to Maryam. Okay. No, no, now no, 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 no. You see, before before you go, I don't like to jump. You said to me we memorize it. Nothing missing. Here, there's either me trying to play games with you, or you're trying to play games with me. How you said to me we memorize it, but you cannot recite it for me. Here we go. I'm asking you. Can you please, friendly? I want to learn from you. I want you to be my teacher from today. Can you recite for me the breastfeeding for adult ten time, which the goat ate it? You said yes. We memorize it. Okay, I want to hear it. Go ahead. The words of stone and breastfeeding and adult ten times was revealed. Okay, and the paper was Can under you? me, my pillow, when messenger of Allah died. Hmm. Upon him, we were preoccupied with his death, and the time time she came and ate it. Hmm. If you look, go, go a little bit uh, down. Okay, this is just a comment about the hadith. This is not, uh, you know, so anyway. So, can you recite for me the breastfeed for adult verse, please? You said we memorize it, is nothing is missing. 
Well, there, there's no, there's no verses about that. that. That was, that was something that she kept about for has for her memory. Okay. Really? What are you talking yeah. about? It says here, the breast, the verses, the verses of stoning and the breastfeeding was revealed. What do you mean there was no such a thing? It says was revealed. Do you see the verse of stoning and the breastfeeding was revealed? So what do you mean there's no such a thing? Okay, brother. You have so many questions, and we need if you if you know the Quran is not not a book that we just take it and we just read it and we just throw it there. You know, this is another we question, my friend. Quran. This is another question. This is another question. Can you recite for me? Can you recite for me the breastfeeding for adult verses? Sorry, brother. Can you recite the verses for breastfeeding for adult ten times? Adult ten time. Hmm. Can you recite the there's verse? No word, there's no words for that. Okay, brother. Well, here it says here it says that the verses was revealed. So are you accusing Aisha to be a liar, my friend? I'm not accusing Aisha. Hmm. Is her, okay. that she's a liar. So what? Are, why you are saying there's no such a thing? Aisha, she said it's a verse and it was revealed, but yet you say there's no such a thing. So one of you is lying, either her or, or, or you. Okay, brother. Brother, uh, I'll call. I'll call you. What time you come come live? Almost every, every day. day. Almost every day, my friend. Every day from what time to what time? Um, you know, sometimes uh, three thirty New York time. Sometime before. You know, you can subscribe to my channel and you will be able to follow me. Okay, brother. I will. I will tell my student to listen to, uh, to tell me. You are welcome, and I welcome you always. And I apologize again if I was harsh in some words with you. I don't mean to be mm -hmm. so, to be harsh, but. Uh, I know I, 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 you have questions. I know you have questions about Islam. Uh, how it was revealed? Why was uh, Prophet Muhammad a prophet? Why was Quran revealed? Why was each verse hmm. revealed? Why? Why we have all everything from the from the Bible and the Torah? You have you are saying this when why we? What you have so many why why? You say so. Inshallah, we'll ask. We'll answer all your all your why why. Yes, but nobody can answer them as you see until now. You did not answer anything. And the last and the last one, you are oh, trying not to answer. answer that. Why you don't is that my, my friend before you go I, I understand you are going you are going straight to three you said no because so you don't know the concept of God first my friend my friend before you go just one the last question I asked you why you don't answer it why you are saying that Aisha she said there is a breastfeeding revealed and you are saying there's no such a thing why you don't why either you apologize from Aisha not from me because you are accusing Aisha that when she said the breastfeeding for adult ten time was revealed. Do you know what revealed mean? It was inspiration. Uh, either you apologize from Aisha or you say I don't agree with Aisha. Okay, brother, let me see the hadith again. Um, I'll, I'll try to look into into this hadith. Mm -hmm. Okay, brother. Okay. And we'll try to talk again, again and again. So you will not answer me now. You will not answer me. It. Okay, I got it. Okay, no problem. All right, my friend. Thank you very much for calling. I, I will answer you. It's not that I, I can't answer you. Because uh -huh. whenever, I, whenever I speak, you say why. When I answer, when I try to answer, you say why. Then I answer, they say why. Mm -hmm. It's like you keep interrupting. Like you I'm have not so interrupting. Here we go. I will keep my, sh my mouth shut for the coming 30 minutes if you want. Do you like to answer or not? I will answer you, brother. But one day. But right now, Not it's, now. it's time for Isha Salah. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. Well, okay, brother. Okay, And I have to go, go right. to the masjid and pray Isha. All right. Take care, my friend. And thank you for calling. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Hmm. Uh. You have to go to pray. Hmm. Did he say he have to pray for Aisha? And he live in New York. But Aisha in New York at six thirty-two p.m. What? Oh boy. <laughs> okay. No problem. Things happen. Things happen. Christians. Christians, Christians. Be proud, my 
friends, my brothers, my sisters. You have the best of the best. His name is the Messiah. And by him we are victorious. Not by Christian Prince. All right. Do you see how you have to enforce conversation with the Abdul? They are professional deceivers. He keep jumping from a place to a place to a place. He think he can rest. It's like somebody he enter uh, he he step in the barbecue, and the fire is all over. And he think if he jump from here to there, it's going to be less fire. It doesn't matter where you go. Bad boys, bad boys. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do when I come to you? Learn, my friend, how to enforce a conversation. They never answer. Look how we started. Look where we end. They never answer. We will answer you, inshallah. Inshallah. Now, I'm going to open my Skype for the Abdul who like to call us. Inshallah. They can answer us. We will give them 15 minutes from now to receive a Muslim call for any Abdul like to call. Only Abdul, please. Now, this Abdul is giving me his phone number. Let them call phone number, my friend. <clears throat> Let us see first if he's a Muslim. Okay, the Abdul is not answering. Call me. Call me, Abdul, if you feel like you want to call. The book of Enoch, the one I was talking about in the debate, it's a fabricated book. It's not the one in the Bible. So don't be missing. That's why I mentioned the 21 angels. You can search right now in Google for the fabricated book of Enoch. All right. That is not what is in the Bible. So I was saying to him, this is why I mentioned that in the book of Enoch, there is a 21 angel. Listen carefully. We are not mentioning the Bible. We are mentioning another book. It's called the Book of Enoch, which is full of fictions. All right? Any Abdul? Anyone? Okay, of course. Answer Abdul. Hello. Hello, Abdul. How are you? I am fine. How are you? I'm all right. So, what do you want to say to us? You are live on air. Everybody can hear you. What do you want to say to us about uh, uh, Islam? As long as you are a Muslim, I don't know. You Ask do not me know? anything. Anything? I am very well prepared. Ooh, that's something. Okay, I will. As long as you are prepared, I want you to ask me the question you like me to ask you. You ask me. Be my guest. No, no, what about you? Because I want to show you that even the question you think you are prepared for, you have no answer for it. So what about you give me the question you like me to ask you? No, 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 come on. Be my guest, my friend. Okay, give me a I'm, question. I'm, I'm a give me the here. question. I'm Help me. Say, I don't know what to say to you. I'm give a me a question. Here. Give me a question. What do you what do you like to tell us about Islam? Go ahead. Something prepared for. I want you to speak about something you're prepared for. Go ahead. Okay, let's speak uh, about uh, Islam being a religion of peace. Oh, that's wonderful. Go ahead um yeah well prove me wrong prove you wrong 
What about yes. you prove yourself right first? Yeah, you're, you're the teacher here. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, hmm. Do you know the I'm Quran waiting, very I'm well? Waiting. You have no evidence. Do you have a? Do you have a? Do you have like? Do you know the Quran? Very well. Okay. Let's see. I only see Arabic text on on the screen. Oh, okay, sure. That's good. That's good. Okay. Can you read for me chapter forty-seven, verse number thirty-four? Wait, I'm going. I'm going um, online. 30, oh, are you going to put it? Are you are you going to put it on the screen? Yes, it's in the screen already. Forty-seven. Wait, what's in Arabic? Hmm. Forty. Wait, which one do you want me to read? Thirty-five. You can read if you want the verses before the verses. It doesn't matter. But I don't know. I'm I'm from Pakistan. I don't know Arabic. So why you want me to show you the Arabic text? No, no, I didn't say Arabic. I said I can see Arabic. I said, can you put the English one? Because I'm from Pakistan. I don't understand Arabic. Uh, okay, okay. You're like Zach and I. I don't speak Arabic. Okay. Here we go. It says, but not we're not faint hatred crying for peace when you should be the uppermost. So the Quran forbid the Muslims for crying for peace as long as they are victorious. What do you say? You know, we're in faint hatred. Let me, can I, okay, give me one second. I'm reading. Okay. You said you're a Pakistani, right? Can you speak to me in Urdu? Sure. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, I know that this is this is the idiot donkey. I'm sure you are a fruit of a mule and a donkey, not a horse. Stupid idiot. Now, do we have any Muslim would like to call us? I mean, when you have a child like this, imagine, I feel sorry for his parents. When you have a child like this, he's like, he's not like in, I don't know how to describe him, he's a frog, he's an insect, he's a cockroach. I mean, what is the value of your life to call people just to bother them and to be in a child? I mean, how in the world this idiot one day is going to be a father of a family? How disgusting. Thank God. Thank God if you don't have a son like this. I feel sorry for his family. What a piece of trash. Now, do we have any Muslim would like to call us? Cry not for peace when you are the uppermost. Do we have any Muslim? Guys, don't call me in Skype, please. I mean, don't text me in Skype. If you want something, text me in the chat. Skype only for Muslims to call me, not to chat. If everybody texts me in Skype, I have thousands of people. So please respect that you are disturbing, not helping. This is why the chat is for. Skype is open for Muslims to call, not to chat with any. And don't call me if you are a Muslim. Somebody, his name interfaith something. Don't call me. You have to be a Muslim. I am not really interested to receive phone calls from Christians saying to me, thank you. I want Muslims. Somebody says to me that uh, a guy, he is speaking German and he is a Muslim. He says Islam is all about love. My friend, I mean, is, is that a question to answer? I mean, how foolish we are to the point we believe a, a, such a statement. If a Muslim, he says Islam is about love. I mean, who is the donkey here? The one who said it or the one who believe it? Don't you see the news? Don't you watch videos? Don't you watch Muslims speaking about killing the infidels? And yet you see, you say to me, a Muslim, he says Islam is all about love. Okay, believe him then. If all what happened in the world is not enough for you to prove that he is a liar, then you be, just go. I mean, what's wrong with the, with, with the mind of a human being? 
So what if somebody says Islam is about love? I mean, who is the donkey here? He or or or, or the one who listen? Do you understand me? People, they can say whatever they want. If everybody says something in the internet, then we have to refute him. I mean, this is the most stupid thing. That's it. We just showed you in the screen. You know, we have thousands of videos showing you. And ISIS, they help us. Al Qaeda, they are the true Muslims. Muhammad, he said, I've been ordered to kill all mankind. So, okay, Islam is about love. <laughs> I mean, sometimes people are like kids. This guy, CP, this guy, he said Islam about love. Okay. And love him. Let him give you a hug. Go to Saudi Arabia and say, I don't believe in Allah. Let us see how much love will be. As long as Islam is about love. Why somebody go to the embassy to get a paper for marriage, they chop him pieces. That's too much love. Why in Saudi Arabia, Emirates, Bahrain, Kuwait, Qatar, etc., they have an apostasy law and the punishment is death? Love, here we go. The guy, he don't love him. He don't want to be a Muslim. What love? The guy, he don't want to be like us. He want to be a gay. What we would do, we would throw him from the top of the... Okay, so either you say to me, you are a liar, or you are saying to me, I, I am stupid. Islam is all about love. Why if somebody, he says that I want to preach the gospel, we arrest him and we kill him. But Islam is about love. Why it's forbidden for somebody to celebrate the Christmas in Saudi Arabia and if we do so, he will face death penalty. Islam is about love. What is missing to say to me that Santa Claus is a Muslim. And not only that, maybe Valentine himself, Saint Valentine as they call him, he himself is a Muslim. What love? They forbid even people celebrate, you know, go and search right now about St. Valentine. Are we are we allowed, brother, to celebrate St. Valentine, brother? For sure not. But Islam is about love. Okay, Islam is about love, but why we cannot celebrate love? <laughs> Either you decide to be a child, whoever people says to you, you believe in it, or you decide to be stupid, or you use your brain. You do not need a Christian prince, my friend. Look at those videos. The truth behind Valentine Day. Anas Abdullah Fattah. Valentine Halal or Haram. Nu'man Khan Ali. Dawa man, Valentine Day is Haram. The real meaning of Valentine Day. I mean, they made Valentine Day the day of the devil. All of this, Islam is about love. You see how much love is involved there? Millions of videos are speaking against the Valentine Day. Look at this face. This guy, he have a face of the devil. Maulana Tariq Jamal. But Islam is about love. But if you celebrate Valentine Day, we kill you. Islam is about love. But we are going to behead the one who installed the Prophet. The one who said the Prophet is a black, kill him, as the Hadith says. Islam is about love. We love to kill. All of this videos is against the Valentine Day. What happened? Valentine Day is a big threat to Islam because you should not be in love as a, as a Muslim. You should be in a lust. You should be having sex around. You should hire muta. Muta is haram or halal. It is halal. Valentine is haram.
Sometimes questions are very funny. Can you please help Bob, the builder, to help fix Hadith reference in this video? Who is Bob, the builder? I don't know even what they're talking about, my friend, Arun. I have no idea who is Bob, the builder. I I know, I know uh, uh, what his name, the plumber, Joe the plumber. But Bob, Bob the builder, I do not know him. <laughs> anyway. So Muslims, they can say whatever they want. So either you are smart and you have a brain or they can, you know, drive you as they wish. Okay, so now I watch a video from a Christian prince says Islam is about hate. Then I go and watch a Muslim from Mawlana Jalaluddin. And Jalaluddin, he says Islam is about love. So which one I believe? Believe in your brain. Can he prove it? Call the guy who said to you Islam is about love. Tell him, brother, according to Islam, if somebody insult the Prophet, what is the penalty? And then let us see how much loving the answer will be. Do we have a brain or we don't? And the funny they send me uh, videos of like people from Germany supposedly trying to refute me. Like there's a guy, his name is Tarazan from Germany, Tarzan. So this guy, I make a video, he say, Christian Prince is a liar. Uh, Christian Prince, he said that the prophet, he stink. My, you stupid idiot. It's not me who said that. It's your scholars. And he say, and then he said to you, this hadith is weak. Uh, even the weak hadith is accepted. And what weak? Weak because it's embarrassing. For you, it is weak because it's embarrassing. Proving Muhammad to be a false prophet. You Muslims, you report that the prophet, he stink, not me. The book is not a Christian book. It's not a Jewish book. It's a Muslim book. It's written there that the prophet is stink. Now you are fighting who? Fighting me or fighting the Muslims? For you today, it's a shameful to say the prophet was a stinky person. He died and he stink. So the only solution, anything will make Muhammad look bad. We say it's weak. You are the Islam is weak religion. Muhammad is weak. Allah is weak. The same as this uh, Sheikh who called me today, and he have no answer. Inshallah, we will answer you. It's a weak cult. This is why Muhammad he needed. Even he said he was the most weak person in sex. And then he invoked Allah, and then he sent him a dish of shish kebab. He ate it, he got the power of 40 men. Why? Because Muhammad was weak. Do we have any Abdul? Don't call me if you are a Muslim. Look like people, they don't listen. I say only Muslim call me and it doesn't matter what we say to them. Any Abdul? Anyone? Mayday, Mayday. Who is the Abdul wanna call us? Mayday, Mayday. And inshallah, we will answer you. You have too many questions, brother. Hmm? Anyone? After we finish broadcast, you will see how many Muslims they post in the text. He's a liar. He is a deceiver. Christian prince that he's a genie. Even a guy he's he's saying he's saying to the Muslims, "I am a genie." Believe it. 
I am a genie. They are saying that Christian Prince is a genie. Why they think he is a genie? Because he's so fast in thinking. His brain is out, you know, torturing their God. He cannot. They cannot answer. So he's a genie. He cannot be human. I mean, did you hear him? Did you hear him, brother? How fast his thinking is? He obviously he is not a human. He is a genie. There is a guy from Indonesia. He posted to website. Supposed to refute me, and they are calling me names. I, I, I like I was enjoying reading the post from Indonesia. Indonesian people are going crazy because of me. You know, because a lot of Indonesian live in Islam. A lot watching my videos. Genie in in uh, uh, he is not a genie in the ball. He is genie in YouTube. Yeah, you can get a three wish. One of them is to make your penis never go sleep. Is that the one? Here we go. Allah, Allah is the real genie. I swear by Allah, Muhammad. He says there is no one of you whom admit to paradise, but Allah will marry him to a seventy-two wives from the Huris and seventy from his inheritance from the people of hell, and the and those inheritance whom they will have a desirable front passages. You see here the translation trying to make it look nicer he's talking about their nipples their boobs their vagina so don't worry Allah will import from hell special kind of women the best women who have nice boobs brother very important brother imagine brother Allah he invite for us import for us from the hell very very hoary women this why they're in hell supposedly because they are they have a hot uh, vagina so Allah will invite would take them from hell they are in hell and then Allah he will go there and hear you come uh, you come and you come and you come so Allah he select those women who they are hookers so good in sex and they have nice boobs mashallah alhamdulillah and then we ship them out to heaven and their job is to make you happy and you are telling me that this is a religion And not only that, your male member will never go sleep. What do you want more? Imagine now you are sharpening your teeth to go to heaven to have sex, and then suddenly your male member go <laughs> impossible, brother. Allah will never allow that. Are you crazy? Impossible. Allah he planned for everything perfectly so he will guarantee you that your male member he, they see here that the, the hadith is trying to be like the translation they're trying to be polite the fact it says your the word start with D I, I'm not going to say it you know this is what it says so your your penis will never go flaccid flat I mean imagine you are in the highway and you find a lot of women they are naked and now you know hey penis hello penis Hello, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. The woman is there, they are naked, and they are very white, brother, but your penis is not working. So Allah, He will never allow such a thing to happen. He will, and by the way, the Muslim they will say to you, This is a weak hadith. By the way, weak hadith is accepted. Even the one they say it is weak, it is accepted. Daif. Shall I take you to Sheikh uh, Hamza, who said, uh, I quote him. So hadith, which is weak, uh, it did not flung. It pass. It pass. The same as the professor, don't throw a paper, get D. It pass. So because they are ignorant, and actually Sheikh Hamza, he says, so the, uh, the, uh, the, the argument about weak hadith is a weak argument. I'm just using his own words. Anything you say to them because they are ignorant, they are kids, they say to you it is a weak hadith. But weak hadith is accepted, it means it's fine. Weak hadith is not bad. Do we have any Abdul? Anyone?
and as you see we have a shake for how many uh, like all this time he could not answer anything and when we show him a sahih hadith Aisha she said he denied did you did you notice what he did this guy he said uh, there is no such a thing it's called uh, kabir to do breastfeeding for adult ten times but this is sahih the story is mentioned many times And there's many report that even Aisha she did not let anyone to enter upon Muhammad upon her unless the Muslims they have to suckle the breast of her uh, sisters and her nieces as you see so anything is embarrassing right away they say it is uh, there's no such a thing here we go this is Sahih Muslim it's a Sahih Muslim it's even the name of the book is Sahih Muslim which means correct Muslim so the name of the book is correct Muslim you Muslim you call it correct but it's wrong anything is embarrassing they say it's wrong it's weak but weak is accepted even the weak one is accepted uh, again just to remind you the video about animals the most dangerous animals in Islam is back you know uh, uh, YouTube put it back because they tried to take it down the Muslims they flag it and YouTube agreed there's nothing wrong with that video uh, we are fighting hate we are not teaching hate and they thought maybe the, the Muslim they flag it like crazy and they try to take it down but you know uh, it doesn't work it doesn't work my friend because even if you take my video down the video is all over you see there's something about Christian Prince maybe you do not know when Christian Prince he says anyone can download my videos there is a purpose of that so the videos will never disappear they are all over the internet not only in YouTube so if you think you can take my videos down you are dreaming and my books is there too and this is why we say please download all right now do we have any Muslim any Muslim any any ustaz from Nigeria do we have any ustaz from Nigeria I'm trying to read the text suggesting uh, next video oh you know what I forgot and uh, shaitan made me forget didn't I promise the guy from Australia to make a video about uh, about the Shia I did right correct I did promise him to do a video about the Shia okay so the, the coming video guys remind me next time if I did not, if I for, for you know, I don't know because the topic took us to talk about this guy. He called me actually. I was planning to talk about the Shia, but then this guy he called me the student of the Sheikh who was debating me, and he says uh, Paul and etc. So I wanted to get him busted. Otherwise, actually, I was going to talk about the Shia. So remind me next time we go on air uh, to talk about the Shia. The the next episode will be only about Shia and the madness of stupidity and the teaching of Shia. Like you have this guy with his name Imam Tawhidi. Imam Tawhidi, he make fun of the Muslim Sunni books, but his books is is full of poo poo. I mean, it's like backed up to the point if you open it, it's going to be all over. It's like a boing, boing, boing. It's like, I mean, the, how the Shia they laugh at the Sunni and how the Sunni they laugh at the Shia. I have no idea. It sounds like both of them, they think each one of them have the back of a camel, but they do not really see what is in their back. You know? So and remember when we speak about the Shia, you will not believe what you will hear. Crazy, crazy stuff. You will lose your mind, brother. Now I'm not going to stay longer here. I encourage all the Muslims to bring their Sheikh to debate me. Today we heard how they cannot. And the Sheikh he promised me he will answer me. And we are waiting for him to answer and to call back. Maybe he, he maybe now he is preparing himself and sharpening his teeth and taking some school class. This guy, he have a student. Imagine he have a student. You're right. And he said to me, You need to sit down face to face with the scholar. And I said, well, Aren't you the scholar? 
face to face I love it when the Muslim they say to me face to face never say to me as to us I mean what face to face mean aren't we talking what face to face will do what does that mean face to face show us your face be a man show us your face well, even Allah himself, he never spoke. He spoke always from behind the veil. Why you want to see my face? Even Allah, he says that he never spoke to anyone except from behind the veil. Chapter 42, verse number 51. As you see, Allah never spoke to anyone except from behind the veil. So why you don't say to Allah, show your face? What about we ask Azazil? Did he say the angel Azazil? Azazil. Nice to meet you, Azazil. Don't call me unless you are a Muslim. Look like one day I will give up this Skype and stop open it. Because we keep saying all you Muslims call me, but nobody listen. Anyone? Who is a Muslim when I call us? All right. Well, anyway, I want to say thank you guys for being here. Maybe today we have enough. And uh, next time we go on air, if we go to, uh, tomorrow, let us let us hope tomorrow maybe we can make it. Then we will speak about the Shia, as we promised. Uh, bring your popcorn. And if you are a Shia Sheikh, you can call me tomorrow. Feel free. If you like to defend your Shia sect. Uh, and I find the Shia sect is hilarious. I mean, it is the it's a comedy. And please tomorrow, if you come to watch the Shia uh, episode, please be sure you don't wear a black shoe. Anyone remember what the Shia believe about the black shoe? Let us see if your memory, just to remind you about the Shia. Anyone remember what the what wearing black shoe will do if you are a Shia? Who remember? If you wear a black shoe according to Shia that will make your penis useless so if you are wearing a black shoe and you are married i'm warning you sooner or later you will lose it this is what the shia believe and the only way to have a very powerful penis according to the shia is to wear a yellow shoes this is why the flag of hezbollah is yellow if you notice mashallah alhamdulillah now I understand why a lot of people they are suffering from sexual problems. It is the black shoe. I thought it's something else. It turned to be the black shoe. Let me see my shoes. Uh, this one is not black, and I have only two shoes. That's it. They're, none of them is black, so I'm fine. Thank God. It happened by luck, not because I was smart. It by luck, like it's, it's a it's a re relief. I I mean, imagine. <laughs> I mean. You wear a black shoe. I mean, what an idiot. How you do that? Don't you know that it is haram? And don't you know that this will cause you to, uh, you know? And come on. Don't wear a black shoe. And by the way, this is proven scientifically to be correct. So next time we go online, if it's tomorrow, it's tomorrow. If not, maybe the day after, we will talk about the Shia. Please invite your friends and tell everybody and subscribe so you get notification and don't forget to subscribe to minds.com slash Christian Prince you see it in the in the screen always so subscribe join us so you will be notified until then I say may the Lord bless you Christ is Lord and Islam is false thank you very much take care